Why, good morning, everybody. My name is Cameron. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in bright Philadelphia. There are many clouds in the sky. My window is open. I can see the beautiful day outside, but I am here inside. But it's nice, and it's early, and I got sleep last night. Recently, inspired by my previous Minecraft stream, I was like, you know, I want to play Minecraft. So I'm going to play Minecraft. Hi, everybody. It's Minecraft time. Uh, last we left off here, um, we we discovered or we optimized a system to be able to make explosives, which was pretty awesome. I haven't actually set off one of the, I, I, just, I just realized, I was meaning to set off one of the industrial TNT blocks that we created last time, and I never did. Hopefully I remember to do that this time, because I kind of want to see how big an explosion it can get. It's not like I'm nuking anything. I don't have nukes yet. Although, come to think of it. How do we, how do we make a nuke? There must be, how, how do we make nuke? Nuke? Now I'm curious. How does one make the nuke? Is it easy in this mod pack? No. Oh God, no, that's not easy at all. I can make advanced circuits and processor assemblies. I don't know what an advanced machine casing is. Oh, that's actually not that. Okay, I can make that. All right, that's not, that's not difficult to make. Speaking of explosives, but how do I make a neutron reflector? Okay. Beryllium. I have beryllium. I don't have tungsten carbide. Tungsten is still levels up beyond me. But we need regular neutron deflectors. And for that, it's steel plates, tin plates, and... Oh, yeah, that's easy. Wait, are you telling me I don't actually need any uranium to create a nuke? What? Wait, that makes no sense. Neutron reflector, which is just beryllium, more reflectors, graphite, and steel. There is nothing nuclear about a nuke in this mod. Something about that feels odd. Or maybe, maybe like, I don't actually know the contents of an actual nuke, but maybe you don't have anything radioactive in there? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Please excuse me, my crunchage just finished my breakfast. My breakfast beam. One of the things that I've like I've been doing is I'll make two pieces of toast and cover them both in peanut butter, which, according to my muscle lads at work, is a great way to get protein. And according to me, tastes wonderful. Now, in particular, I enjoy a nice um, cinnamon raisin toast. It really gels well with the peanut butter. The peanut butter is extra chunky, for anybody who's curious. So, let me finish this chew. Take a little bit of water. Alright, now we're ready to go. So, again, last time, we figured out a method to parse out some toluene from the rest of our oily system over here. It's very oily. I realized shortly after last time that my little system over here for keeping this thing running and battery powered was actually a little broken. So I lost half of my power reserves because things were unbalanced again. It happens. We we strive for, for we strive for perfection, but we'll never actually get there. So in the meantime, we'll just kind of keep with what we have. Um, but I fixed it. Whenever problems pop up, we fix it. We fix it immediately. That's usually like, I'll pop on every couple of days to see like, oh, is my system broken yet because of something I changed last time? And if it is, then eh, whatever, we'll fix it. But now we have all this toluene and that gives us the ability to create TNT um, in, a, in a much easier fashion than previously. It actually takes quite a lot of um, oil or oil sands or rather oil in general, which we get the oil from to create toluene. There's not a lot that comes out of the other side, uh, but I have three stacks of it. I wanna see how much TNT that gives me. Um, beyond from last time, I got some more of this stuff, and I did a bit more of this uh, compression and whatnot of these um, the different plates over here. I went through the recipe for the rocket, and I realized that the rocket is actually a lot closer than I thought it was. We don't need all these heavy-duty plates and whatnot. We've got all of the um, materials for them, and to create the advanced alloys and stuff, we've got that too. The only the only other part will be doing this compression part, which will involve the implosion compressor again. 
with more ITNT and whatnot. Um, these heavy duty alloy ingots are not super difficult. We have all the materials for them. The oh, sterling silver, I think it was sterling silver. Sterling silver? No. Sterling silver? Stainless steel. That's the one. Stainless steel. These other compressed plates. And we just use more ITNT. I don't have any ITNT yet, but that's all good. Yo, what it do? Is that Domstar? Is that is that our boy Domstar99? Yo, what's going on, Dom? AKA F the F war mentioned Astro. How are you this fine, wonderful morning? Are you still in Mexico? I hope it's nice and warm down there. I guess technically, I think if I'm correct in saying, Mexico would be an hour or two behind. So it's early over there, if that's still the case. I'm correct in saying. I'm gonna go downstairs and make some more exploding things. For that I need some more empty cells. Which I made a bunch of them. I need more, I need more containers for all of my my, I need more containers for all of my chemical goodness. Today is the wedding, and it is 8.30. Nice. What a wonderful morning it must be. Beautiful day for a wedding, I'm sure. Astro will be there until the 11th. Oh, you got a couple more days left. So you've been there for about a week so far. That's a nice, that's a nice vacation. I, uh, I look forward to my family vacations and whatnot, although I think I've been taking a little too much time off PTO-wise, so hopefully I can squeeze in a week when it, when it finally comes up. We'll see. I'm also accompanied today by some maple tea. Usually I'll wake up with my toast with peanut butter and coffee, but it didn't feel like a coffee kind of day. <laughs> Mostly because, as it turns out, my mouth has been bothering me recently, and I don't know why. There's like a, there's like a dryness on the top of my hard palate. And I think it was because I just started using baking soda toothpaste. And if baking soda is a base, and my mouth can be acidic, then perhaps there's some pH imbalance going on there that's making my mouth feel all sandpapery. I don't like that. If you get your jobs done, your employer should be chill about it. Oh yeah, yeah, they're totally chill about it. They, uh, I have yet to take time off more so than the PTO would allow me to do, but I can, I can make it swing. I can swing it. I know I can. My boss is very chill about that. They're very chill folks. Oh, what do I got out over here? I got some more nitration mixture in here. Oh, do I have any more nitration mixture? I think I used it all. I think I used all the nitration mixture. So I need more nitration mixture. And to create nitration mixture, it is so easy to do, right? It's mixing some sulfuric acid with nitric acid. Make some nitration mixture in a mixer mixer. It's easy. And that's what I needed this thing for. Let me go grab this and eh. come here, you. Come here, little machine. I need you. Baking soda and peroxide are the best way to brush. I think my mouth might be too sensitive for it, unfortunately. I don't know. I, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to switch back to the toothpaste I was using and see if my mouth fixes itself. And if it does, then hmm. The reason why I started it was because I don't like the feeling of plaque on my teeth. And so as I brushed, I like things that are abrasive. So I, I think what I was looking for was an abrasive toothpaste, not a basic toothpaste. Not one of them basic bitches. You know what I'm saying? No, but so I think maybe I'll just do charcoal instead so that my mouth looks like I chewed into like it like chewed into some like rotting flesh and corpse Gotta go. Love you, bro. Enjoy the wedding Enjoy those are always fun times of the weddings. I've been to I had fun at All of them at one of them. I wasn't a big fan of the reception or no, 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 not the reception the ceremony I wasn't a big fan of however the reception at all of them have been Totally wonderful. Anna and I have been looking into what we want to do, obviously, for our for our wedding. Um, been looking at venues. I tried to call a venue the other day. They did not call me back. Made me very sad. I don't know if that was because maybe what I was looking for in a venue is not what they can provide. Perhaps it was because uh, the details that I gave when I called them was not what they wanted. I was telling them about the details of like, you know, what the budget is and how many people they would expect. And it's very possible that based off of that criteria, and they were like, eh, no, we don't want this guy. I always tend to assume the worst, <laughs> like they didn't want me, <laughs> that I wasn't accepted. Uh, maybe they just didn't get around to their emails. Or, or perhaps I just, or emails, no, their uh, voicemails. I got a strange feeling that perhaps I just didn't call the right number, which I honestly would not be that surprised about. So I've got some... Sulfuric acid, got some nitric acid, good stuff. Just gonna put them in here. Gonna get this tank. 
I'm gonna do a little, do a little mixing. Do a little mixing action here. Um, and make sure that you are configured in the right way. Uh, don't push into that direction. Push into that direction. Don't push into this direction. I don't want to push things into the lathe. Oh, there's no space in the lathe. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you know what? Fine. Push. I kind of want to see what happens. There we go, right? That's, that's what I'm doing? All right, here we go. Fill it all the way up. Now, I actually think there might actually be a small glitch with putting these empty cells, like depositing the contents of these empty cells into these uh, tanks over here. Because if I have 1,000 millibuckets in each of these cells, and the recipe over here calls for 200 each, it's 200, I believe, correct? No? 200. Then I don't know how I end up with 100. I think there was a, I think there's a glitch somewhere. Oh, I actually had more nitration mixture. Incredible. Well, now I'm going to have more, right? Now I have an excellent amount of nitration mixture, uh, which I will put back into here. No, pull, 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 disable. I don't need that. That'll go do its thing. Some science happening here. I'll have a, a, a bit of an excess of nitration mixture. I'll just keep it in a tank next to my stuff and uh, then I won't have to use it. Or, or I just make more cells. Cells are really easy to make. It's just tin. It's just a ton of tin. Oh, you may have also noticed that there's a new item in my inventory. As I was mining the other day, I was like, wouldn't it be cool if all the stuff that drops to the ground could just gravitate towards me? And there's an item for that. It's the electromagnetic magnet from Ender.io. So I built one. It's not that difficult to make. Just requires a couple of, couple of, okay. Well, I was going to showcase the, the recipe. Electro magnets. Some conductive iron, electrical steel. Conductive iron has to be made with some uh, some chemical bathing. I have chemical baths. It's, it's, what, it, it's what I did. It wasn't too difficult. It wasn't very difficult at all. All right, give me, give me, give me nitration. Give me the sweet nitration. I want to nitrate myself. I don't know about that. I'd rather hydrate. Hydrate, as in hydration. Hydro, H2O. And I also have my tea as well. Did I mention it's maple? I don't know. I like, um, I'm a, I'm a tea and coffee guy. I like tea and I like coffee. And depending on the day, I like one or the other more so. Um, recently, it, when I go into work, like, usually I have to pay for coffee. But when I go into work, there is already coffee there for me. And I love that. So I tend to drink the coffee there because it's essentially free and I don't have to pay for it which is great, which means I'm saving money in the long run for my coffee habits. Now, I'm not actually saving money unless I was actually gonna go out of my way every day to have coffee. Because if you think about it, if I, if I go every single day trying to have coffee, that means that of the days that I don't pay for the coffee, when the days that I have it for free, I save money. But if I'm not that kind of person, if I don't actually care so much about the coffee part of it all, and I don't do it every single day, then I'm not actually saving money because I usually don't go out of my way to buy coffee. So I'm not really saving myself more more or less money by just drinking free coffee because I'm not offsetting any sort of cost. It's like, a, it, it reminds me of a book I read a while ago. I don't read a lot of books, but once upon a time I read a book, big book, textbook. Actually, I think statistically speaking, I've read more textbooks in my life than I have just normal books, which feels disappointing. But I read a book, a textbook once upon a time, for a, it was an accounting. I did read an accounting book once though. Um, I think it was a, oh my God, it was a budgeting book. It was a book on, book on budgeting. And one of the one of the points that they mention in the budgeting book is that if you receive like a gift card to somewhere, don't think that it's actually saving you money. And this is the reason that, uh, I don't remember the guy's name, but he says, you're not actually saving money with a gift card for this reason. If you got a gift card for Olive Garden, for $50 off, you're gonna go there and you might spend it on, let's say a $70 meal. You still spent $20. You saved 50, sure, but you spent $20 when otherwise you wouldn't have gone to Olive Garden to begin with, except you got the gift card. So really you'd only be saving money if you like, if you have like a, I go to Olive Garden once a month thing and you were gonna go there anyway, then you'll be saving money with that card truly. But you know, what really is, saving money honestly Ooh, i have too much sulfuric acid in there 
All right, I, I still don't know. It is now April 9th, and I don't know why I keep hearing explosions. I don't know why. I think if it's still an April Fool's thing, then this game is stuck in my, uh, or my server is stuck in April Fool's mode because I keep hearing explosions and I don't know where they come from. It's very disconcerting, but uh, hopefully it won't spook me as much as it has in previous streams. Or maybe it will. I, I guess, I guess we'll just have to see. Um, but I need to take this diluted sulfuric acid out of here. So what I'm going to do, there's a lot of... My system in this room is a little confusing. Um, I have one pipe system that connects the output of this chemical reactor to this pipe over here. Because usually this machine will output nickel sulfate solution. And nickel sulfate solution can go inside of this electrolyzer and be decomposed into nickel and sulfur. And thus output... I get some metals out of that. However, I haven't done any of that recently. Uh, and my system is very clearly backed up with a bunch of other stuff. And it's got this beautiful blue hue to it. I love that. But I need to be able to remove this liquid from here. So I think what I'm going to do instead, I don't have any, I don't have any nitration solution in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can extract from here. Yes, I could just extract the diluted sulfuric acid. Wonderful. And then I will, I will put it in here and uh i don't exactly like i don't necessarily want to i don't want to keep the diluted sulfuric acid because i have a ton of sulfuric acid to begin with and i don't really think it's really advantageous of me to keep it um if this were the real world then naturally you would want to take your diluted sulfuric acid and repurpose it make it back into sulfuric acid or neutralize it into just water but this is minecraft and I don't think that matters. So instead of, like, I have literally 4,800 buckets of sulfuric acid. I don't think I need any more. And I have infinite water sources. So what I do with this, this diluted sulfuric acid is, it's, I, I don't need it. I really don't need it. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to let this thing fill up. I'm going to break this. And oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's, let's see for realsies. What can I use diluted sulfuric acid for? There might be other things I can use it for. Diluted hydrochloric, diluted... This is sulfuric, right? Sulfuric. Sulfuric. Sulfuric acid. And you can be used for water. Sulfuric. Yeah, it's just like... I have a ton already. I don't... If I was really, really penny-pinching for sulfuric acid or water, I'd keep it. But I won't. So now... Excuse me, it's gone. It is gone. And now I'll absorb the rest of it. Pull. Pull! Push! Pull! I would make a very bad midwife. I don't think I'd know what I'd be doing there. One, because, quite frankly, I am not trained for that. And two, I don't know if I would be that encouraging. I'd be like, yeah, you got it. Keep doing it. You're, you're great. Birth that baby. You got it. I don't I would not I don't think that would be a I don't know if my bedside manner is uh to a point where it would be good in the least bit oh my god I'll see now the the misbalance fixed itself so now I don't have just well, this 100 sitting around in there anymore I don't know I don't know what if I put it in through here if I put it in through there it feels like that that's cool that's all right. I don't think... Uh, I don't know. Look at that. Oh, because it's not pulling. Right. Uh, come on. Button. Insert. 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 There we go. Now it's doing its thing. Making plenty more industrial TNT. I do want to set up... If I have... Hmm. If I have an odd number of industrial TNT that comes out the other side, I will explode one of them. Because I want to try it. If not, then maybe I'll have to conserve. Maybe we'll explode them after they make those advanced alloys from for for later. Yeah, I think that's enough nitric acid. I don't think I need any more. And I'm in well, I'm in balanced again. I don't know. I think it, maybe it has something to do with the um the transfer system. Maybe these pipe these pressurized fluid conduits like round up or something. Actually, I'm inclined to think that they do round up. And that was that's because these this other mod this translocator mod has a fluid equivalent. And if you push liquids into these pipes, it can push infinitely. 
like they will never be full per se um and i think it's because there's probably some rounding logic that gets messed up probably i don't know now, that's a hell of a lot of tnd and i'm gonna i'm gonna keep my titration mixture in there in hopes that i remember that it's there i may not but that's okay if not then eh. i'll put my mixer back over here uh, and I think all I need to do is do that, and then it'll fill up with water. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's fluid auto, but that's what I had that set to. And I'll put the battery back over here. So it refills back up, and it's good for next time. Cool. 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 All this TNT. What to do with that TNT? Well, to use this TNT, we are going to use it in the implosion compressor, just like before. There's a couple of alloys that I need to create from all the stuff over here. Uh, I don't know why I have an extra one. But if I take these 32 compressed bronze, 32 compressed aluminum, aluminium, excuse me, 32 compressed steel, and these stainless steel bolts, I should be able to create some heavy-duty plates. But I need to create these heavy-duty alloy ingots first, and for that, it's just a hammer and bronze, aluminum, steel. Bronze, aluminum, steel. Do I have a hammer, hammer on me? I do. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> there goes another one. Sorry about that. Bronze, aluminum, steel, and these bolts. I prepared it. Just like any good cooking show, we prepared the ingredients ahead of time. And let's see if I can make all 32. Actually, I want to scan these first. Have I scanned these already? Mm, they don't scan. That's unfortunate. All right, well, 32. Hey, and the hammer is only partially broken. But now we have a bunch of heavy duty alloy ingots. And I think those are only used for these heavy duty plates. Yes, they're used for heavy duty plates. They make a little bit of stainless steel dust uh, um, as a byproduct, which is great because I can always make more stainless steel. That's actually pretty cool. Actually, kind of think of it. If I get two tiny piles of stainless steel dust from that, I'd have to look at the... I don't remember what the conversion is for a screw. But I might get all the stainless steel back. Maybe. These heavy duty plates are used for various items in Galacticraft. So this is kind of like... This is finally the intro to the Galacticraft that I've been hoping for. I mean, it was during the last... Not the last marathon stream, but the one before that where we built the NASA workbench. Which was... That was a trial. What did I have to do for that? NASA? NASA? Naysay work, but yeah, there was a lot of stuff that went into that. That was a that was a lot of time and effort to that. And I don't know and the iridium. The iridium was difficult to get. Because I don't often find iridium. I mean, come to think of it, I don't remember how much iridium I even currently have in my collection. But in any case, so each of these heavy-duty ingot oh boy. Okay. So if each of them requires two industrial TNT, I actually need more. So I'm gonna have to go mine some more oil. I did not plan that in advance, unfortunately, but I can throw them in here. Oh, I actually have some in there already, but it's not enough. But I do have one extra, which means I can make things explode. I'll well, watch how this thing do. Oh, actually, mm, yeah, no, I'm definitely, I'm going to run out of uh, TNT. But there's heavy duty plates coming out the other side. That's good. We can at least build parts of our rocket. I wonder if I... If I leave ingredients inside of the NASA workbench, does it stay there? Because, like, what I want to do for this rocket is I want to do this. So if I place these in there, will they stay? Oh, no. Okay. They do not. So I have to keep them on me. That's fine. And we're out of that. Oh, I needed... I need eight more. Eight more industrial TNT, which means I need... 1,600 more millibuckets of nitric acid, and 8 times 4 is 32 bits of toluene. So that's like another, that's another oil mining trip. That's pretty cool. Did I scan this already? Oh, there's nothing to scan for that. That's unfortunate. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, and so what I'll do now is I'll go grab some oil sands and get that system rolling for some more toluene. We'll come back and there's there's more crafting to be done. There's there's more. We need to make rocket fins. Uh, we need to make to make. Um, I remember last time I figured out what this stuff was used for. It's for landing pads, uh, rocket launch pads. So that's how we make these. Uh, so I need I need even more industrial TNT for this iron plate. Oh man. All right. Well, let me throw this stainless steel back in the system. I don't need that here. 
Uh, I have this industrial TNT. And let me grab a lever and see what happens. Lever. <laughs> lever. <laughs> I hardly know her. <laughs> is a joke that is used way too much in my life. However, it is equ it is very funny, I think. I don't know. There might actually be... That's the thing about jokes these days. Like, whether they remain PC or not. If that even matters to you. But I don't know whether the blank er i hardly know her like jokes i don't know if they're pc or not i don't know enough about the culture behind that joke for me to be like oh maybe i shouldn't be saying that i don't know i think it's funny it's something that uh my younger brother once said like non-stop on a family trip one time and purely because of that i think it's hilarious and so whenever i hear it i'm like i think of my brother i think of my younger brother hello you you were disgusting. All right, well, I have TNT. Uh, I want to see what happens when it explodes. So I'm going to put it in the wall. I'm going to put a lever here, and I'm going to step back. Oh, well, that was lackluster. That wasn't cool at all. Maybe industrial TNT in this mod pack has the same blast radius as regular TNT. So in actuality... Regular TNT is like rinky dinky TNT. That's so sad. What does TNT even stand for? Something, something nitro, nitro something or other? I don't know what TNT stands for, come to think of it. What does that mean? I don't, I don't think I've ever looked this up. I, it's got to have something to do with the nitroglycerin on the inside. TNT, meaning? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's a chemical. It's a chemical compound, and that chemical compound is. Tri nitro toluene. Oh, that makes sense of why I need toluene to create TNT. Tri nitro toluene. Duh. Science speaks. She has a voice. I did not know that. I've learned that today. See, it's all about learning something. If I can learn something by playing video games, then surely I've done something right. And I have learned something, and that is good. Learning is a never-ending battle. So now, all my oil sands is over here. Uh, oh, it's very wet over here. Why is it so wet? Why are y'all wet over here? Oh, there's a... Oh, I don't like that. I, I didn't know there was a lake down here. If I knew there was a lake down here, I probably wouldn't have changed anything that I was doing, to be perfectly honest. So, if I would have known there was a lake down here, then nothing changes. Let's get some oil sands. My day ahead of me. It was a very good week so far. Uh, I decided to uh, take my time. I, I decided recently to take my time more with the stream stuff that I do. Uh, and that's editing the videos. That's making the thumbnails and whatnot. And it's been working pretty well so far. It's only been a couple days since I really changed things up and came to that conclusion of what I plan on doing. But it's been very, very pleasant. The other day, I spent more time than I usually would on a thumbnail, which I really enjoyed. I, I liked it. I don't... When I was younger, I loved doing, like, like image editing stuff, but it was never something that I felt like I wanted to, like, pursue. When I, when I was younger and used, like, Microsoft Paint to mix, like, make new Pokemon by putting the sprites together and combining them, or when I used GIMP to make it look like, oh, I was a ghost and I was slightly transparent, um, which is one of my earlier, very early, like, uh, image editing, image editing projects. I was like, what I'm into is not the art aspect of it. What I'm into is the computer aspect. Like, the fact that I can use a computer to do this is more, it's more astounding to me than, oh, um, I'm doing this and I'm... I'm trying to think of how to articulate it. What amused me more, more was the fact that I was doing this on a computer and wow, look at all the other things a computer can do. I wonder if I can make a computer do something like that too. Which is why I went into uh, electrical engineering and computer engineering, which pretty much sounds like programming from that standpoint. And I do do a lot of programming. Haha, <laughs> I said doo doo. That's funny. I'm still immature. I'm a child at heart. Uh, but the. So I never wound up going down like the artist path. Because I was also like, you know, when you. In certain school districts, and depending on the crowd you hang out with, there's this idea of like, oh, you know, if you want to become an artist, like, that's that's cool and all, but like, there's no money there. And I was never, to, to make it perfectly clear, I was never raised with that, with that 
being told to me like, oh, you'll never make it as an artist because artists don't make any money. It's not the case. My uh, father is an artist. Uh, he's the, it's not his only thing that he does. He's got a day job as well. But nowadays it's actually more in line with the artist, with the musical stuff that he did previously. Previously it was like desk jobs and, excuse me, desk jobs and like, um, like table, like table entry stuff. But, uh, but I think he still does that now, but it's for a record company now, a uh, music label. So I think he's having more fun with that. It's definitely more in lines with like what he previously, like what, I guess the, um, I'm trying to think. It's music related. It's music related. More so than what he was doing before, which is good. Which is good. And I think, <laughs> I remember hearing from my father about like the like the money that he does make off of the music stuff. And he was saying like the, the records that he did when he was like younger, like he still gets paid royalties on them. And he's like, oh boy, like the royalty check came in the mail today. What do we got? And it's like, it's like two cents. And he's like, woo, can't wait till like next year, next month, or I don't know exactly how often they came. But that was always amusing to me. Like, that, that's funny. And he makes a couple cents every once in a while from like the music he did in the past. Like, wonder if I can make music like that one day. But all that aside, I went to engineering. Happy that I did in engineering now. It's fun. I like that. But now, but like, I still like to do that like graphic design stuff. And I feel like I completely lost track of that over the years. And when I finally had the idea of like, oh, yo, I could make like thumbnails for my videos and stuff. I was like, yo, this is my way back into it. And so I was able to learn a bit more about like the programs that I knew about when I was younger. And well, now every week I get to do that, make some thumbnails and stuff, which I, which I enjoy. It's like, it takes a lot of time, but it's like, it's like, I feel like, I mean, I don't know all artists out there, but for an artist that does like, let's say paints on canvas, like it takes you hours to do those things, I'm sure. But like, does it really feel like hours? Do you, does it, is it painstaking to do that? For, for all that time like I feel if, you, if you're enjoying yourself then you know time flies and so there were some times where stream ends I stay up I do thumbnail and I'm like man all I want to do is go to sleep and so I kind of I kind of rush it and I don't put all the I don't put the love into it that I could be putting in uh, because I'm like man I just want to go to sleep and I have to wake up for work in the morning and wow I am gonna be like I know I'm gonna be a disheveled mess in the morning because I didn't get my sleep but this is my week, this is my life, this is the hustle, and you gotta respect that. But uh, I was like, you know, you come to a point where you're like, clearly something ain't working, Some, something isn't working right. And so I was like, you know, I need to give myself more time for things. The fact that I tell myself that things have to be done in two days is not, I don't need to do that. I mean, moral of the story, if we can even find a moral of the story there. Oh, hey, pal, how you doing? You don't look very cool. I don't like you. Moral of the story, if there's one to be found, is like, if you're not, if you're not feeling good, there's probably something that you can do to at least improve upon it. And if there is, and if there isn't anything that you can do about it, then try asking a different question. My my question was, or my my thought process was that I needed to do this. I needed to. And that's why I couldn't have it any other way. Oh, hi. Where did you come from? Stop that. Not pleasant. But it, it had to be that way, and it couldn't be any other way. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to stay with this for now, because I have nothing. I have no other way to... Um, basically, I'm not going to be able to get my sleep... my uh, Be able to sleep the way that I want to. Um, and that was very close-minded of me. So then I asked myself, I tried to ask myself a couple of whys. Like, why do I feel like I need to do this? And as I went down that path a couple of times, it, the answer was, I felt like I needed to do it because I felt like, because I told myself that two days is all I get to be able to make things look pretty and put things up there so I don't have to worry it later. I was telling myself, if I don't do it in two days, then it's going to take me weeks. And I was like, that's... It, it, that's not it wasn't right i was fooling myself i was i was jipping myself of many good things many many good things i need to remember my keyboard combination for i think it's this one turns the electromagnet on yes i assigned semicolon to the electromagnet and now i can walk around and everything comes towards me nice i think i hear my dearest getting up good morning dearest my dearest is awake she's not very much of a morning person but she loves me all the same Nice. But the Electromag is pretty cool. 
It brings everything towards me. This is really awesome. And that was so easy to pick everything up of. It doesn't use- I don't think it uses a lot of energy. Yeah, it doesn't use energy proportional to how many items it pulls towards. It just uses energy proportional to just how long it's on. So, use it and use it well. Oh, look, hello, witches. Hello, witches. I see you over there. Hey, what's up? I don't like you. Yeah, you're dead. I should light up this area. It's very dark now. It's very dark in here. Very, very dark. Doesn't need to be that dark. Doesn't need to be dark at all. There's no purpose. Why does it need to be dark? Does it need to be dark? What reason am I giving myself for it needing to be dark? There is none. Therefore, it doesn't need to be dark. Easy. And that's how I fix our thought processes. But it was nice. Long story short, the other day, I spent a while on a thumbnail and I felt very, very proud of it. And I can't wait for it to finally come out to the world and for, and for it to be publicly viewable. Not sure if anybody looks at that stuff anyways, but I'm proud of it. It's fun, and I enjoy it. And also, too, I got to the opportunity to spend more time on my cocktail stuff as well. The other day, we uh, tried another Cameron Original Recipe, but it wasn't, exact, it wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be. And so I was like, man, I need to... I gotta take some time to, like, figure this out. And I figured it out. And I'm really, really looking forward to being able to share the recipe later on. But I'm not gonna share it just yet. Not yet. But it pretty much was exactly what I thought it needed to be. Like, while I was tasting it, I was like, oh, I think I could use a little bit more of this or a little bit less of that. And I was pretty much on point, at least for my taste, of what needed to be done for it to taste the way that I wanted it to. And I'm very proud of that. And I cannot wait to share it. Oh, what the? Oh, come on, dude. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Get out of here. Get out of here. Not cool. I was having a moment. I was having a moment. You got to go and do that thing. Not, the, not fun. Where'd you go? I see you there. Oh, you take too many hits. Oh, you take five hits. Uh, you're so not fun. Unfortunately, my main oil sands deposit is right in the middle of a dark forest, which for some reason, if I'm close enough to the surface, spawns these wraiths, which completely make mess up my day. It does not, it kills the vibe. It totally kills the vibe. Makes me sad. But, um... Yeah, so I was able to change up my, was able to change up my my cocktail recipe a little bit. And I took some mad photos too. I like, I really try to work on my photo game. Uh, the fact that I have like a nice camera to stream with is cool. But I've always wanted like a really really nice, like a, uh, let's see, a uh, video recorder, a camcorder. This is a camcorder that we're recording on. But I want like a camera, like one that I can take really really awesome like still shots of. Maybe take like a photography class. Like I've always wanted to take a photography class, but like I just. I just never did. Like, I could have taken one in college. I could have taken one in high school. And I just never did. Mostly because, like, I think there was this idea that, like, I didn't want to have to spend money on a camera, which I may never use again. Because back then I wasn't really, like, I was never that into taking photos. Um, but in recent years, there was a sometime recently where I was like, oh my god, like, I'm not taking any photos. Like, I need to take more photos of my life because I'm not remembering things as well as I want to. And so now I, oh my god, there's so many of you. So now, uh, it's nice to have Google Photos remind me of things that happened in the past. Because I don't necessarily remember what happened in the past uh, as vividly as I'm sure some people, uh, some other people do. It's not like, it's not like I would say that I don't remember things as well as I used to. I just, I, I guess, not to say that the frequent, the number of things... The clarity of memory that I have in recent years is better than previously. It's that memories of the past are growing de uh, uh, growing dimmer. And I don't know if that's because of my age. I don't know if it's just because that's just how memory works in humans in general. As I bring up more memories, they stick around. Um, but so it's nice to have the photos to be able to remind me what happened on this day such and such a number of years ago. Because that kind of information sticks with me. Because then, that allows for other memories to pop up. And for me to think of like, oh, I was here doing that thing this time a couple years ago. Oh, I remember other things that happened during that event that I am now remembering because Google reminded me of it. Which has been, which has been nice. And so that has opted me to spend money on the things that I love. I now pay for more photo storage because Google was like, hey, 
you're running out of photo space. And I was like, hey, I like having all my photos. Please don't get rid of them. Here's money. But uh, actually offset the cost. This is an interesting one. Google allows you to do surveys and you can get Google Play credit. And Google allows you to use Google Play credit to purchase more storage on Google Drive for your photos and stuff. So I answer surveys to I answer surveys to be able to make more space for my photos, which then allow me to remember the past. So it's always nice. It's all about that gig economy. It's all about multiple different income sources uh, that help you offset the costs of other, I guess, it, as, as not income, but outcome. Is that a word? Is that a business term? I don't think that's a business term. I don't think outcome is an official like term in business, but maybe. But it offset your incomes, offset your outcomes. Your expenses. Yeah, that's probably a better word to say. Outcomes was starting to sound a little weird. My incomes will offset my expenses. And so multiple different income sources will help with that. And it's not big stuff. It's not like I make... I think it's like quarters. It's not It's not pennies. It's quarters on these surveys from Google. And it's uh, Google Opinion Rewards. If anybody's interested in making a little bit of Google Play money for yourself, that's a... I would recommend it. It works. And I get I get the monies. It's also um, I guess you can also use it on like in-app purchases too. So there's here we go. Going back to what we were saying before about um, not actually like saving money versus thinking that you're saving money. All you're doing is just like I guess just spending more but feeling like you're not. If you actually like let's say uh, spend money in apps, like let's say you buy more Pokeballs and Pokemon Go and whatnot. If you, at least if you're on an Android phone, uh, like like me, and you, or, or rather, uh, if you have a Google Play Store, which I guess is, is that an Android thing? I guess it's an Android thing. There's no Android store. It's the Google Play Store, I'm pretty sure. But if you make those purchases, and you often do from like your parents' credit card or whatever, instead, you can get a Google Opinion Rewards account, get some sense there, and then the money that you spend on your Pokeballs can be from the reward money from your, uh, from your survey responses instead of mama's credit card or dad's credit card or in my case my own credit card in that case you're actually saving money because you were spending money on pokeballs anyway but you know you could just you could just get up and walk around but maybe you're not able to in which case hey i guess it's accessible i suppose being able to like allowing folks to be like in Pokemon Go, you can get it by, like, going around and, like, spinning Pokestops. But, like, what if you're immobile? And what if you can't spin Pokestops? Like, you can't get up and move around enough to be able to do that. Then you're gonna have to, like... I guess you can get money from friends. You can... You can buy them in the store. I guess, is that... Is that accessibility? I don't know. Feels a little... The fact that you gotta pay for it doesn't feel as accessible as... Other options. Like a... Let's say a... An immobile way of playing the game. But I don't know. That's not a decision for me to make. That's a decision to make for the accessibility consultants at these game companies. And speaking of which, I actually have I have a coworker who is blind. They were they were born blind, so they've never been able to see. And so it's actually really interesting to be able to talk to him about because he's a, he's a music guy and he likes to play games as well. And I think on the side, maybe it's a, I don't know if he gets paid for it or anything, but uh, I guess if it does, then that's part of his gig economy. Is he's like a he's an accessibility consultant for like uh, I think. I don't know if it's a particular app or if he does it for like a couple of different apps, but it's actually really cool to hear like his experiences on like people trying to make things accessible for blind people and whether or not it works or not. Um, like he was telling us about this one app that's supposed to like help blind people see what's in the room around them via, um, via sounds. So the idea is the app or the hardware or whatever determines how many objects there are in the room and their relative location to the person and then generates tones at various volumes depending on how close the person is to them. Which they were like, oh my god, that's a great idea. We can play any number of tones and, you know, if, if I don't know if they thought that maybe if you're blind that you'll be able to hear better. Um, but he was telling us, I was like, yeah, the interface of this app was, like, terrible, like, You'd walk into a room and you would just hear a total cacophony of just like droning, buzzing noise and stuff. And when they asked him like, yo, so does this, is this accessible? Does this like, does this work for you? He's like, does what work for me? Are you playing like the sounds of traffic and stuff? I don't know what this is supposed to be uh, like, um, like conveying to me. I thought that was very interesting. He was saying as well, especially in like, um, 
in whether they be board game like board games for instance or other like things that are tactile like cards and stuff it's not some people just kind of like default to just putting braille on it and braille works i guess but there's other ways to like to help somebody who can't see experience a game in a way that is is easy for them accessible for them it doesn't have to be braille um he was saying one of the biggest things that he's really into is the whole like i mean braille it's the tactile part of it so yeah braille is tactile and so you can use your fingers to kind of feel what the letters and stuff are but like even just labeling things by texture for example let's say the color red is a very like it, what we see as red like the game piece that's red actually has a very rough texture to it or perhaps something that we're seeing as blue has a very smooth texture to it like somebody who can't see but can touch can make out the texture a lot like very very easy relative to having to feel like oh this is the letter g for green or this is the letter r for red like um and he says he prefers those types of accessibility experiences where like it's the texture that conveys not necessarily like somebody slapping braille on it because that just feels like a i think and i, I might be misquoting so apologies if i am but i think he was saying like it just seems that when people are trying to make things accessible for blind people and they default to braille it's just that it's a default it's because they weren't creative enough to come up with something else uh and there's there's ways to do it i um one of the games that i want to play and it's one that I got as a part of my uh, Prime Gaming rewards. I have Amazon Prime. If y'all don't know, if you get Prime Gaming, one, you get a free subscription to your favorite Twitch Twitch streamer, which could be me or somebody else. There's probably somebody better, but you could it could be me. I'm not asking for it. However, you also get rewards as a, being a part of that program, like free games and like free stuff in games and whatnot. And I've been reaping the benefits. I have Amazon Prime Gaming. And so I get like free items in Roblox, which I haven't played in a very long time. I get free items in, uh, I started playing, this is really interesting. When I was younger, I played RuneScape and an MMORPG called RuneScape, which is now called, what I knew as RuneScape is called old school RuneScape now. And I decided to see if I could recover my account. Unfortunately, I, I was able to recover the account, but they did a wipe of all the account's data a while ago. So I lost all of that progress, but it was years ago. So I'm not particularly attached to it, but I decided to start playing it again because with Prime Gaming, you get free membership and money every once in a while. And I was like, oh my God. Um, and so the other day I uh, I was on and I was, I was uh, just kind of, I think I did the tutorial quest for like the, um, uh, the new, the, what they call RuneScape now, not old school RuneScape. Um, it's like, I'm not like super duper into it, but like it's a game that I can play to kill like a couple minutes because like it loads really, really fast. One of the reasons why I can't like as easily just like play Minecraft is because despite how quote unquote powerful my computer is, it's not that powerful. And so the, uh, what winds up happening is I will, I will be like, It'll take me about 15-ish minutes for me to boot up the game, which means I'll have to go out and do something else first. But like Steam opens up really, really quickly. Um, the, the RuneScape in general loads really, really quickly. And there's always like something quick for me to do, it feels like. So it's very easy to do to, to go into. Technically, there's always something there's always something easy for me to do in Minecraft as well. But like I gotta move to my I gotta go to my mines and I gotta walk around, I gotta do this, that, and the other thing, and you know. So it's a little more of a, I guess it's more of a commitment to play a little bit of Minecraft than a little bit of RuneScape. And uh, actually, there's another game that I've been trying to play as well, uh, based off of a recommendation of a friend of mine. It's Guild Wars 2. They came out with another expansion recently, and I had never played it before. It seemed cool, uh, and he was like, you should totally play it. And then if you like it, then we'll buy you the 80, um, what is it, the level 80 expansion thing so that you can, like, explore the new area. And I was like, I'm the kind of person who I like to play the games, like, kind of at my own pace. And because I feel like I will often, like, fall behind other people. And I don't really feel like falling behind. Or, or like, making people feel like, oh, you gotta wait up for me. I don't like doing that. But more so, more so than that, I just like to play, play games at my own pace. So I was like, all right. So I started playing from the beginning. That game loads up really, really quickly. I think I'm getting, I get prime game rewards from that too. Come to think of it. It's pretty awesome. I don't think, I, I don't know what items I get. That's the thing. Of the things that you can get from like these 
free game rewards and stuff, I don't necessarily knew how to use any of them. Like, in of, of the games that I know I can claim things for, I know I can claim things for Guild Wars 2. And I get things for Guild Wars 2. But I don't know what to use them on. They seem like... Uh, I don't exactly know what the items are. And I could look it up. But for a quick, like, oh, I'm popping on to claim my rewards, it's, uh, it's, it's not worth the time to be able to see. Like, I'll figure it out later. If I play more, I'm sure I'll figure it out later. Same thing for RuneScape. I will get items, and I don't exactly know what they do yet. But oftentimes, they're for members only which I don't have a membership. I haven't bought a membership, but I can get a membership every once in a while from Amazon Prime. <laughs> They'll just kind of give it to me, which is cool. I like that. I like getting more free stuff. Um, but that was always the... Uh, and then I can also get stuff from Roblox too. Uh, and what I get what I get from Roblox is like hats. I don't get any Robux or anything like that, but I get like cosmetic items, which I'm like, <laughs> I would never... Like I would never spend money on a new hat in Roblox. Maybe maybe I maybe I would have come close back when I was younger, but I wouldn't spend money like actual cash that I earned from a job on uh, a ro like a, a Roblox money, like a Roblox cosmetic thing. Not unless it was like not unless I knew it was going somewhere other than like Roblox itself, I think. Like if you could tell me that part of it is going to let's say like uh, help people not suffer in other countries, then I'd be okay with that. But I don't think Roblox does anything like that. Um, but I get free stuff from... Uh, not not because of anything special. It's because I... It's the Prime gaming thing. It's nice. And honestly, the only reason I have Prime is because I like the fact that I, when I want something and I want it now, I can get it in the next two-day two free Prime shipping. That's why I have Prime. Although, it is, all, it is also nice to get free shit in the games that I play now that I play more games than I did previously. And I don't, I think this was a new thing too. I don't recall in the past, like, I think I've had Prime for like two or three years now. Like in those earlier years, I don't think I had, I don't think this game stuff was a thing. Not to my knowledge. Or if it, if it was, I don't remember it. Uh, so we reap the benefits now. And it's nice. It's nice. Plus, it gives me the opportunity to, uh, I, I mentioned like the, the free games as well. There's a fly in front of me. Excuse me. Uh, the free games every once in a while will allow me to experience types of game experiences from developers that I would never, I normally would not be able to find. It's a way to like discover new things to do and new games to play. And I was, I remember why I started talking about this because going back to the conversation about my blind coworker, there is a game that I have that I got from Prime Gaming called like the Blind Warrior or something like that. I don't remember, but I think. It's a game about, it, it uses sound. It's I think it's a purely sound-based game. I don't think there is like a menu for it or anything. I don't think there's any significant visual aspects to this game. Um, there might be like some, some like words on the screen to make it easier for somebody who is seeing to be able to play the game. But you don't need it. Like you don't, you don't need that to be able to play this game. And it's not, I guess it's not the core focus of it. Which I think sounds really, really cool. And I really want to play that at some point. Um, so that's on my list of games to play eventually. I've been so distracted. Of the games that I want to play, I've been so distracted about, like, uh, knocking titles off of my Steam library, because I want to play them all, but, eh. And also because when you post, if you post a video on YouTube, you can actually post it on Steam, too, but you can only post it in the communities where you've purchased the game. So, like, I can't, there's this, there's this game that I'm going to play... Uh, coming up that I got through Prime Gaming called Truberbrook, and it's a very beautiful looking like point and click adventure game, and it's on Steam, but I have it on Am I have it on Amazon I have it on Amazon Gaming. So when I add this video to YouTube and add it to Steam, which I usually do just to have the videos on there, I think it looks cool in my profile. Um, I can't tag it won't won't show up in the community profile because I won't be able to tag the game that it's played in because I don't own it, which is kind of it's kind of stinks. Like, like, I guess the question to Steam then is, the question to Steam then is like, why can't I post content for games that I don't own? Like, what if I got it through other means? What if I, you know, I, I don't know. It's a little, ugh, little, little ag makes me sad. But, oh well, that's just how the world is right now. And honestly, it ain't hurting nobody. It's not hurting me at all. It's not like I'm losing anything, I'm not losing my sense of self because of it. So, I'm alright with it. Well, I got a plenty of... That was a very successful mining adventure. 
And I think how much oil sense did I get? Hopefully a lot. Definitely a lot. Awesome. I get sugar? I get sugar. I didn't know about that. I'd like to see if I can scan anything in these. Anything scannable? Anything I haven't scanned yet? Nah, I scan them all. Gotta scan them all. Uh, I don't want to get some things out of here. Like, rotten flesh I don't need. Bones are fine. Bones are fine. That, that's fine. I don't need rotten flesh. Uh, yeah, I don't need it. And then I'll get all this cobblestone and stuff. I think... I... I think the way that I'm pulling... The way that I'm pulling items from this chest is not as fast as it used to be. I thought I found a better way to do it with the translocators, but it doesn't work that way. These, um, the translocators don't push into buildcraft pipes. I don't think they pull, they don't pull from them either. So I can't like pull really quickly from a chest and put it onto a buildcraft pipe system. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Uh, so that's, that's a bit of a, makes me sad. But I'm sure there will be other ways that I figure out eventually. It also doesn't push them into item conduits either. I thought maybe that was the key, but it isn't. Um, the fluid translocator, the fluid ones though, they push into these fluid conduits very well, except when there's the whole the the, the glitchy rounding thing from before. Um, but that's that's a that's a different point entirely. Let me deposit the rest of this gunk. I don't need rotten flesh, but I'll put the old charges in there. The geist livers. Lever cells. Anything else? That is it. That is it from the mining adventure. Wonderful. And then eventually the oil sands are will all pop in here. We'll get more toluene at the other side. We'll get more TNT. We'll blow the world up. World domination. The whole kitten caboodle. We'll get there. Um, but in the meantime, we'll try to see about this other this other stuff here. I need these iron plates have to be compressed with more ITNT, which we're making. Uh, that's that's in the pipeline that's being made now, or at least the toluene. TNT stands for trinitrotoluene. I learned that earlier today. Um, I also have some powder barrels too. I previously used powder barrels. Ignore the explosion. Uh, but it's really it's a really really inefficient way of getting explosive stuff because the powder barrels themselves you need like 16 to be able to compress one of these things. 48 to be able to compress a topaz, where otherwise you would only need how much ITNT? Six, which is still a lot, come to think of it. But those IT and T blasts are not very large, so I don't know. Okay, I just heard even more explosions. Those explosions were even more widespread. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know where these explosion sound comes from. trying to listen I don't know where they come from I don't know I don't know this I, I this is definitely not the first time that I've been like concerned about the sounds of explosions on this mod pack like it's definitely not I feel like it's an April thing I feel like it just happens in April but I don't know what mod it is I don't know what mod pack it could be um yeah why are you losing steam what are you charging? You are currently draining steam. Where does that go? Oh, oh, right. Uh, because, 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 because all the oil sense came in here. So we're, we're processing this now. So that will begin draining. The big tank will drain. When the big tank drains, it will start producing more steam. So that's a, uh, we'll worry about that another time. In the meantime, uh, I should go charge, I should charge my, my nano plate right are you charging there you're not how about here you'll charge here right no maybe you'll charge here there we go you'll charge in that one there we go i hopefully will not forget that um but i need other materials there's a lot of things to make my first rocket and those are rocket fins an engine a cone let's do the cone do the cone first in order to create the cone we need four heavy duty plates and this little red fixture. Uh, I have four heavy duty plates. I just need to make the fixture. So how to make the fixture? Excuse me. To make the fixture, we need circuit plates, conductive plates, and ilimar and glass panes. I think I have glass panes and I think I have these plates. So let's see. We need the straight plate and the bare plates. Straight plates and plates. Plates. Yeah. Okay. 
two straight plates, or a, two bare plates, one straight plate is what I'm calling them because that's the way that they appear. Uh, and I need panes. Do I have panes? I do. I got panes in my system. Oh, and I want to put the, I can't put the gate back apparently. That's unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I can't put the items back? It's weird. Why can't I put... Oh, I'm full. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. What do we got? That's why I can't put things back in. Because I'm full. What do we have? What's gunk in the system? What is gunk in the system? There's a piece of rotten flesh. I don't need rotten flesh. Oh, woe is me. There's so much shit in my system. I have to fix that. I don't need saplings. I can always get more. Gray wool is a very particular color. I don't need throwing sides. I don't like those. Ugh, I need to upgrade this so badly. I can always get more shrooms. All right, now, now everything's in there. Uh, let's throw this in the extras plate. Uh, and if I don't have space, then whatever. I have rotten flesh over here. Put it over here. Don't need that. Put my pains back. Oh, you're on again. Uh, I'd like to put you back and you back, please. Thank you. Probably clear out some other things, too. It shouldn't be a very difficult... Uh, honestly, it would take a day for me to upgrade this system, and I just haven't found the day to do it. I don't need sugar in here. That's useless. Uh, vines? Vines and pines? Do we keep the vines and pines? I'll keep the vines and pines. I don't know. I'm an oddly sentimental person. And I have this odd, like, hoarding mentality. And so oftentimes I will keep things if I feel like it's not going to be easy to get them again. Like, oak wood planks, birch saplings, I can get those anywhere. Jacarandas grow literally all over the place. I can always get more jacaranda wood um, if I really needed it. Uh, feathers, I don't have a lot of chickens around. I should keep those. What else do we have in here? Anything, really. Uh, random bricks, clay, snow. Yeah, that's useful, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. All right, well, the system's off anyway, so I will do what any sane person does with extra junk and throw it in a corner and forget about it. Bye-bye. 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 I don't need you no more. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I don't need you. Bye-bye. All right. And the only other thing I need is this Ilumar. Ilumar. And to make Ilumar, it's dye and glowstone dust. Well, that's easy. I have red dye, right? Do I have red dye specifically? Red? I do have red dye. One, two. And glowstone. Glow. Glow. Glow, glowstone. Glowstone. Glow, glowstone. Hello, Stuart. Stuart number two, or whatever. I don't even know. Is that all? That's all. Ilimar. And you scan for light. Luke's. Hey, buddy. How you doing? In my enchanting room? In my laboratory? Get out of my laboratory. You don't need to be here. Thank you. Perish. All right, and that's how you make a nose cap. Oh, uh, let me go get my other heavy duty plates. Oh, have you filled up again? I'm always worried now. Because another reason why I'm worried about that in particular is if it fills up, the way that my system is currently is if it fills up and it can't accept any more items, I don't have the proper controls in place to turn it off. If there is items, the, the logic currently is, if there's items that need to go into the system, keep the system on so it could absorb it, and when there's nothing left, then turn off. However, if there's not enough space in the system, it can't absorb them into the system, and it just stays on perpetually. And then I lose power, then I lose all my charcoal, and then I am sad boy yet again. But, you know. The solution could either be upgrade, make, uh, or uh, change up the system logic. Um... But for a system like I have, where you throw everything into one place and it all goes to the same place, I think an upgrade is probably necessary. All right, time to make a nose cap. Nose cap? Nose cone? Nose goes. Also, I wonder how pretty these Illimars look. Because if they look really cool, if those, those fixtures, because they look cool, maybe I'll upgrade my lab to use them. Ooh. All right, so how does a... Oh, and I think they're not on by def default. That was an explosion again. And a large one, maybe. I don't know. So long as nothing's totally broken. Um, how do I make inverted fixtures? I know I can make, like, inverted ones. Invert? 
inverted fixture. So how do I do that? Oh, I use a cathode. All right. Well, if I put this on the ground, how's it look? That's cool. I don't have a lever to make that look any different. Currently harvestable? It's not? Oh, what if I do this? Don't break. Nice. I only needed one. Alrighty then. Let's make a nose cone. 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 Nose cone. Nice. All right, well, now I got a nose cone. That wasn't that difficult. That was probably one of the least painful parts of the experience so far. What else do I need? In addition, we need... So we got the nose cone and the body. Uh, we need four fins. To make four fins, we take these heavy-duty plates and these compressed steel, which I need eight pieces of, which I have eight pieces of. Sweet. All right, so I just do that, and then I do this, and then I... Racket fins. All right. That was also rather easy. This is the thing. I, the, when I stopped streaming the other day, I thought to myself, I was like, how close am I to going to space? And I was like, wow, I am really close to going to space. So I was like, I got I to gotta go to space. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually get to space today. However, my goal is to build the rocket. And the, to build the rocket and at least get a couple of pieces that I need to go to space. Like the launch pad. Or I think you need an oxygen to actually, I need to pull up, I need to pull up as a reference, the Galacticraft tutorial guide, because I really don't like to spoil things for myself. However, there are some things that like, I wouldn't otherwise know, because usually this mod pack has a quest book that works with it, but the quest book is broken in this server. I don't know how to fix it. I haven't been able to uh, to fix it. So, um, so sometimes I need to look up tutorials for where I need to go. Otherwise, I may be unprepared for. Excuse me. And in this case, as it turns out, I was I would have been unprepared to go to space. Because in space, you need oxygen. I didn't realize that when you go to space, you need a rocket, a launch pad, rocket fuel, space to store things, oxygen, and a parachute. Because if you don't have a parachute, then your, shot, your ship just crashes into a planet or the moon. Which is like, what the heck? And there's so many different places to go. I mean, I don't, I think in this particular version of Galacticrap, I can only go to the overworld and Mars and asteroids, but there's stuff on asteroids. I can't get there yet. Uh, apparently, oh, oh, the overworld. If I go to the overworld, that's where the moon is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can go to the moon. With a tier one rocket, I can go to the moon. I know that. I don't know exactly what I can find on the moon. I think there's cheese on the moon. Actually, I know there's cheese on the moon. Um, but yeah, for a, for Galacticraft. Quick start. You need a rocket, rocket launch pad, fuel loader, fuel canister, oxygen gear, oxygen mask, oxygen compressor, oxygen tanks, and a parachute. There is, there is a lot. So, not gonna go to space yet. It's still, it's still uh, farther on the list of things that I want to do. But I should be able to get a rocket into it by today, hopefully. So let's try that. Uh, are you finished? Are you finished? Yes, you are finished. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I got the fins. So the next thing I need is a rocket engine. And that's a little more complicated, but I only need four of these plates. So I'll only keep four of them. Um, the other eight are for the rocket. I got those. Uh, steel firebox casing. Uh, let's start with that first. Or let's take a look at whatever else we need. I can make steel firebox casings with steel. Just various different types of steel. Uh, so that's that's not difficult. What else do we have here? A button, easy. Uh, lighter, empty lighter, can be created with Invar. I have Invar and Flint. That's easy too. Uh, activity detector, soldering alloy or various other materials and this stuff. Yeah, all right. That, I don't need steel for anything else. So let's work on the steel thing first. The firebox casing needs some rods, plates, and a frame box, which is just more rods. So I think, I think my extruder over here is powerful enough to create rods out of uh, metal. Maybe let's let's see about that. So let me do a check. Uh, I need some steel. Steel, steel, steal yourself for the power will, that we will create. The power that we will use to make a rocket to go to the moon how many bars do i get out of, or how many bolts do i 
rods. How many rods do I get from one? I think it's just two. Get two. All right. So if we require eight for the box, eight for the frame, and four for the outside, I just need six. So I need five more. One, two, three, four, five. Boop. Stuart, can you stop screaming outside? Is that you? Yeah, that's probably you. Stop screaming. Nope, it is not you. Who is screaming? It's not Stuart. Oh, hi there. Nah, I'm not afraid of you. What am I doing? I'm not afraid of you. I'm powerful. Stuart's cousins do not shut up. All right. How's the world looking today? World looks great. Terraforming job was good over there. Oh, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. Anna and I are thinking with the rest of our day is that the course for our day was I want to play Minecraft, so I'm going to stream some Minecraft. Welcome. That's this part of the day. Next, we are planning to go to the thrift store so I can buy a bunch of, uh, I, I want to buy more glasses for my cocktails and stuff. I realize I don't have a lot, I don't have a comprehensive set of glasses for whatever I may need to use them for. And so I want some more. And at this particular thrift store, Philly Aids thrift store, they sell so many. The glasses are cheap. And there's a lot of them. There's an entire room filled with glasses. And I just, I, I need to go. So we're going to take the car. I'm going to get some glasses. I'm going to come back. Glasses in the, like, glasses that you pour, you drink things out of. Not glasses in, like, spectacles. I'm not buying spectacles. I don't need spectacles. Um, and then, I think, afterwards, I kind of want to get a haircut this weekend. My hair has been, my hair is kind of long. Kind of, kind of, it gets a little puffy. I just showered this morning, so it's not as puffy as it usually would be. However, oh, it is very long, and uh, I'm using too much product again. So I want to want to dial back on the product. If I can dial back on the product, I think, I think we'll be all right. Also, I think I kind of like my hair short. I like the way my hair looks shorter. There was a time where it was much longer, and I liked it longer, but it's just, it becomes a hassle, and I don't like things that are a hassle. So I don't do that anymore. I, I, I haven't done that recently. Got some more gel toluene. How are we doing on naphtha? still filling up there so it'll be a while till we get more but can make some more um itnt in the meantime by going back downstairs and filling back up come to think of it i i think toluene is created in groups of four and i don't know why i have only three of them here i think did i use this for something else was there something else i used toluene for nope i don't i don't know very interesting how much more TNT can I give him that? Like three or four? I could do math in my head, but I don't want to. Six, I think four, it's five. It's six, uh, it is six, there we go. Get six more of those. That should be, it's not quite enough for all the rest of the explodey stuff, but it's probably enough for all except for one of these ones. Yeah, that's fine. Bam, bam, bam. There's just one more left. But I got some more heavy-duty plates. That's good. I only need a few of them. For a different one. Okie dokie. Time to make the... Uh, I don't know. Is it a firebox or something? I think that's what it was called. I didn't quite pay close enough attention to remember. Got one of those. All on the sides. Put the plates in there. Oh, plates are on the corners. Whoops. Firebox casings. And I have this extra steel frame box, which... Alright, come to think of it. What can I use this for? This steel frame box can be used for steel machine casings. Steel pipe casings. Fireboxes. What can a firebox be used for? The steel boiler. Oh, you know... That's something that I've wanted to look into. Because currently I have railcraft boilers creating steam. But I think the Greg Tech ones might actually be more efficient but i think they only take i don't think they take solid fuels i think they take liquid fuels and i don't have a good source of liquid fuel yet until until i come up with a convenient way to i think creosote oil can actually the creosote oil comes from the charcoal making process and i just kind of discard it right now because i don't use it but i think i can actually use the creosote oil to create something i don't know what yet but i it might be able to be used for either power in the future or other things i think maybe it can be used for rocket fuel if i'm correct in saying but i'm not exactly sure about that so don't quote me on it uh next thing i need a button and an activity detector i can get a button easily if i don't already have some there might be buttons in the system 
Do I have buttons in storage? But, no. That would have been very funny, though. Get that for a button. Um, do I have invar? I know I need invar. And I have two invert ingots. That's perfect. Uh, that's exactly how many plates I needed. Do I have an activity detector? I do not. I'm going to have to make one of those. Uh, in preparation, let's invar ingots. It's invar plates. Turn the stone to a button. Um, that was how I made the lighter, I think, right? The lighter, when not full, lighter, empty, is invar and flint. So now that I have the invar, which apparently I've never scanned before. Gotta do that. Everything's exploding again. I will make it clear, prior to April beginning, I did not hear explosions as often. So, or maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I've been choosing to ignore the explosions for this long. I honestly would not be surprised. Uh, flint, I need flint, I have plenty of flint. Flint is not a problem. And I just put that into an assembler. And luckily, I have an assembler. Uh, flint. Invar. There we go. And there's my lighter. We'll come out the other side. There's my lighter. And it doesn't have to feel... I, I wonder... Oh, you know what? A lighter is probably... I was just thinking to myself. What's a lighter used for? Probably to set things on fire. Like, instead of using... Instead of using a flint and steel, I could use a lighter. Or firebox. What the hell is this? Whoa. I just noticed that there are Greg Tech rocket engines. Generates power at 136% efficiency? How do I make a rocket engine? Oh, that's, that's advanced. Wow. That's crazy. Interesting. Oh, I just noticed, when I, as I build this rocket, I should really build it with chests. I shouldn't forget chests. So I should actually have three chests on me, too, for this. Uh, and for that, I need wood. And I don't actually carry wood on me. And I really should. But I don't. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, chest. And I have three chests exactly. Thank you, past self. Because you were the person who put them there. You, you are appreciated. I have two steel firebox casings. And I have this extra steel frame box. I only need one. But I can keep it for extra. I might need these for other things in the future. So I'll keep them here. Have I scanned them? Nice. Nice. Button? Nice. Have I scanned the hydro traps? Mm, not so nice. All right, so I have my lighter, my button, my box. I just need the activity detector. And for that, I need any number of these materials combined with a wrought iron plate or any plate. Oh, there's many different options. Soldering alloy in an assembler. I'll put tin in the assembler and a redstone torch and aluminum. I'll do that. So tin, redstone torch, red, 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 red. I have sticks on me, right? I don't believe I do. Stick? I, oh, I do have sticks on me. Stick. Bicky won't stick. Bicky. Bicky, let me smash. Bicky. Let me smash. Why do I have 32 aluminum plates in here? I don't know, but I'm glad I have them. Because oh, uh, aluminum is difficult sometimes. And I need a piece of tin. With which I have plenty. Uh, that's a lot of torches. That's a lot of torches, my friend. I don't need all the steel on me. There we go. One tin. There's probably a more efficient recipe, but these materials are in relatively large supply. So I'm not really concerned about it. Now, there's a bunch of other stuff here. I don't want it here. So let's just put that here. Uh, just in case. Because sometimes there are recipes that I'm not accounting for that the assembler will just, like, do on its own. That's a problem. There we go. Activity detector. That should be it. Awesome. I'll put these things back. Usually, what do I usually put in here? The mold for the plates. Uh, it's usually for rubber sheets, I think. Maybe? I don't remember. Activity detector. That scans, like that, and I make the firebox. Detector, button, lighter, box, this stuff. All right, I did it wrong. Wait, does it need to be full? Does it need to be a full lighter? Ah, it needs to be a full lighter, that makes sense. Okay, well, what can I fill it with? What can I fill a lighter with? 
Does it have to be anything particular? A canning machine. If it's full, no, 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 other way around. I can fill it with gasoline. Nice. Oh, I can fill it with gasoline? I need gasoline specifically. Oh. I don't have gasoline. I need to make gasoline, apparently. Now we gotta cook with gas! I didn't know we had to do that. I've learned something. Okay, I need gas. That's how I fill up a lighter. With gas. Okie dokie. Alrighty then. This is... This is news to me. Okay. Well, in that case, I am going to... Move this stuff back here. Because I apparently can't craft it right now. But I will keep my lighter on me. Alright. Getting closer, though. Closer. Closer yet surely. Alright. How do I make gasoline? Gasolina. How do I do? How does one make the gas? Gas? Gasolina. Gasolina. I don't think that's the song. how the song goes. In order to make gasoline, I need a refinery. Is that the only way to make gasoline? I could also refine oil into gasoline. I don't think the refinery is enabled. It is not. It is disabled. You cannot make gasoline through a refinery. How else can I make... <laughs> I could squeeze magical capsules into gasoline. That's cool. This thermopneumatic processing plant or a refinery. Yeah. Okay. I gotta make gasoline. I didn't know that. All right. Well, that'll give me some time as the toluene forms elsewhere. All right. I need gasoline. And I think the way to make gasoline uh, I saw is pneumatic craft. And I think... Do I have... Did I have a, a gasoline thing? You previously... That's interesting. I remember... Oh, this was before... This was before the server reset itself. So previously, I had a little stairway to come downstairs and go into... into my ore processing area. However, I don't have that anymore. And that's where I had played around with pneumaticraft stuff. Interesting. All right. I think that's back. I think my pneumaticraft belongings are back at the other area so i am gonna go back and check on that and actually you know while i'm back on the other island this will be a good test if i continue to hear explosions over there then it's probably the game playing a trick on me if i don't then maybe something really has gone astray <laughs> i don't know I'm gonna forget, I don't think I remember the explosion sounds happening when I'm not processing things, when I'm not using the machines. So maybe, maybe that's got to do with it. Perhaps in lieu of April Fools and April, one of these mods decides that instead of regular machine sounds, it'll be explosion sounds, which are annoying. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But somewhere over here, it, see, it seems the only way to make gasoline for, for my lighter and now I'm going to double, double triple check that. Gasoline. How make gasoline? Gasoline can come from various sources. Various different sources. What is this bucket of? It's a gasoline bucket. Okay, that's that's cool. What about other bucket? Fuel bucket. How to make fuel? Gasoline. Okay. Gasolina. It says I can make it with diesel. So actually, maybe... If I can fill up a build craft bucket, I might be able to do some really weird converting here. This seems like the easiest way. I'm going to go back and I'm going to try... This is what I'll do. I'll go back and I'll get my pneumatic craft materials and all my machines and stuff and bring them over. But I'm also going to see if I can do this first. Because I can get light fuel and heavy fuel and combine it for diesel. I can do that. I just, I just wonder if it'll be enough. How much do I need to fill this thing up? I just need a single bucket? Single bucket? Not even, I think. Excuse me. To get a full lighter, 
fuel the canning machine, put it in. It's a hundred liters, which I think is millibuckets. I I don't know. I don't know what the conversion is to be honest in this game. It confuses me. It's all over the place. But I don't need a lot of it. I only need a little bit of gasoline for this lighter. And supposedly I'll probably need more gasoline down the line, but yeah, that's a, that's a problem for a future me. So let's see. This is my pneumatocraft chamber. This is my new pneumatocraft box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh there's stuff in there. What do you know? I don't know if I ever figured this thing out. Did I ever make gasoline? What is over here? What did I leave behind? Sulfuric gas. Where did I get sulfuric gas? Actually, how do I make light fuel? How do I do that? Could it use sulfuric gas? Because that could be useful. Gasolina? Gasoline? Where'd my bucket of diesel go? Uh, diesel. Diesel nuts. Hey, yo, got him. Diesel, diesel, diesel. 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 Diesel was made with... Come on. I lost the recipe. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, oh, do down here. Gasoline cell? I, I want gasoline, but... Okay. This recipe is made with light fuel, heavy fuel. How to get light fuel or heavy fuel. I can get heavy fuel by chemically reacting sulfuric heavy fuel and hydrogen gas. How do I make sulfuric heavy fuel? Sulfuric heavy fuel comes from distilling oil raw oil various different types of oil so i can create sulfuric heavy fuel and i can create i'm probably sulfuric light fuel to create sulfuric whatever fuel right is that how that's gonna work oil for sulfuric naphtha gas light fuel heavy fuel i need light fuel and i need heavy fuel and they require different configurations of this thing here luckily i have a distillery back at the other, back in the lab, which will allow me to configure it to create different types of fuel. So that's good. And that may help me with diesel, perhaps. Are there other ways to make gasoline cells? It'd be really cool if there was. Oh, look at that. I can also make gasoline with these other things. Methanol, naphtha, toluene, acetic. Oh, wait a minute. That might actually be easier. Uh, although, is it the gasoline that I think of? Is that is that the right gasoline? It doesn't look like the right gasoline. Can I use that to fill up a... It doesn't look like I can use that to fill up a... A lighter. I think it's got to be the other gasoline. Oh, that is so bothersome. There's a lot of double checking that I'm going through here because... I need, I need to know. And I don't know for sure. To make that gasoline, I need... so bother void fluid capsule this very well could be one of those cases where the mod pack wasn't balanced for it so we'll actually no 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 no. it must be balanced for it i've seen people using this mod pack go to the moon so it shall be done how do i make a full one show me how to make a full can what do i need for that i can bottle what they call gasoline this is also in that recipe which makes me think that diesel could be used for that. But the rocket box specifically calls for a fuel, a gasoline filled lighter. And so the question is how to create that gasoline. None of these other containers are the same. Although, actually, oh, this is where it gets. That's where the logic was. If I take a fluid canning machine and I uncan one of these containers gasoline bucket from pneumaticraft or any of these buckets that i can create greg tech gasoline and then i can use that greg tech gasoline to fill up the lighter if i'm correct in saying and for that i can use a diesel cell but it looks like i could also use that other cell as well what is this platinum lighter interesting very cool there was another one as well is that it that bucket of is it that bucket because that bucket looked like whatever type of oil that was looked like that could be the one right how do i make that how do i make that type of gasoline it's still heavy fuel and light fuel okay so i think i need to go the heavy fuel light fuel route 
that other one um, <laughs> this gasoline cell from Greg Tech which I can create from here doesn't look like it couldn't be it can be used for what I'm looking for unless if I unleash the gasoline no okay so that type of gasoline doesn't look like it can be used and the reason I think that is because this gasoline cell doesn't seem to I can't seem to find a recipe path back to my lighter so I'm inclined to believe that this type of gasoline doesn't work however the mod pack is confusing so sometimes sometimes like I'll get an item from one mod and it'll transform into the same item from another mod I don't know I like the confusing part of it it makes for a very interesting challenge I'm not sure how or why I have the patience for this I'm just entertained. So that's what we'll do. We need light fuel. We need sulfuric light fuel and sulfuric heavy fuel to create light fuel, to create heavy fuel, to, and, and heavy fuel to create gasoline. And for that, I need oil. But while I'm here, I still want to, I still want to take this stuff back. Because this stuff is, I, yeah, no, I actually don't want to. I'll just leave this. Hmm. Yeah, I'll leave it here. I don't really care about it for now. It does not matter to me. While I am back here, though, I will swap out my wands. Because I am running low on magical energy, and my armor feels like it's got holes in it. Not magical holes, either. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's creosote oil. Not gasoline. That would have been so cool if I had gasoline. Yeah, I, I don't remember making gasoline. I'm not even going to try to look around for it. Alright. Back to Draconia. Back to the other island. Back to over yonder. I need. Luckily, I currently have. Oh, my system is creating oil and distilling it. So this is good. This is very good. I need to grab some food for myself. I can't just keep eating Hydra Chops. Hydra Chops. They're good for you. Probably. Maybe. I am unsure, to be honest. la di da da It's actually really interesting to see the plateau that I've created over there. It was never like that before. Also, there's a bunch of holes in it. I think that's because there's... I think there's black granite beneath. And I want to say Endermen just come by and they take all the pieces of dirt and stuff. It's not a cave, is it? It's not a cave. What is this? Bearite? There's bearite over here too? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Interesting. Wait, wait a minute. I gotta check. I gotta check this. Is there actually more uh, ore beneath here? Or is that like the only piece of berry that I will find? No, there's more berry. Oh my god. Wow. Um, I may have found yet another ore deposit <laughs> right next to my base, which honestly seems to be happening more and more. I wonder where it is though. Truly, truly. I found two pieces so far. All right, maybe it's a fluke. Maybe, I don't know. Black granite's useful. It, I can, I can get stuff from black granite. I think black granite will decompose into biotatite, bio, biotatite, uh, which has olivine and other gemstones in it. Maybe I don't remember. Okay, back here for oil. This is currently creating oil if it has no more oil sands, uh, but it does have oil sands. Um, so what I actually want is, I'm gonna take this oil and I want a couple of cans of it. So what I'll do is, I'll disrupt the toluene cycle by, dis by disabling this side of my fluid tank so that as this continues to function, um, how much fuel do we have? Do we have any fuel? How are you doing? Oh, you're fine. You can take, you can take like another half stack or so. That's fine. You're okay. You can, you can do like a thing of oil sands, probably. Do like half of it. That's probably fine. So that'll create oil. It'll put it into here. The oil I will then collect later. How much oil do I get per oil sands again? I think it's, is it a, is it a bucket? Might be a bucket. It's half a bucket. 
So with 32, I will fill up this container. And then I should have uh, enough to split evenly into light fuel, not so light fuel. Uh, that should be okay. And, and then we'll figure things out after that. Uh, but that needs to do its thing. And that'll fill up probably in probably a few minutes. That'll take a little bit of time. In the meantime, what will I do in the meantime? I have some shiz, shiz in my inventory. What is it? Oh, barite. Yeah, I forgot about that. Can I scan that? Have I? I don't know if I've found barite before. Have I? Let's see. Time for the analysis. What to do with barite? Barite is probably a source of barium. That makes sense. Barite, or just barite in general. Have Do I have anything barite related in my storage system? Bear. Bar. I have barium. That's cool. Uh, is barium used for anything? I know barium is used for yttrium barium cuprate. But other than that, I don't know what else. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Barite. And I can get a bunch of barite. If I crush it, I get more barite. Which makes sense. If I don't crush it, if I just do the normal way, I get barite. Barite becomes more barite. There is no other byproduct except barite. <laughs> it is all barite. <laughs> so yeah, that's fine. That um, I don't need to tune my system for that. What it will do is create more barite. And that is exactly what it needs to do. So there is no need for me to change the way that my system functions for the sake of the barium. Although what else is barium used for? Now that I'm thinking about it. Got a little bit of time to kill. So let's see. Barium. Barium used for yttrium barium cuprate. Like all these things over here. It can also be used for just that. Oh, it can also be used to make HG1223. Whatever the heck that is. I don't know what an HG is. I guess it's some sort of like special alloy. Maybe it's like a proprietary name. But that uses mercury, barium, calcium, and copper. And HG1223 can become nuggets. That's cool. But what are those nuggets? Oh, that's for the cyclotron, which is a particle accelerator. No idea. I I, I think I was. I, hmm. I do have an idea of what it. I know it's used for something, but I don't remember what. Not at the top of my head. But it used. It is used for stuff. Although, I probably don't need to worry so much about it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, well that's bringing up all the oil that I want. How you doing so far? Yeah, you're like a quarter of the way there. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. What else can we work on in the meantime? I have my small list of Minecraft projects. There's always projects to be working on. More coke ovens. Could do that. Twilight Forest. Nah. Could run around. Could run around for a little bit. Another thing that I need to do and try is there is a... Ah, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do some magic stuff. I like that idea. So there is a little portal over there that hasn't been opened yet because I need to go around and find cultists throughout the world. And so I need to find those cultists and kill those cultists. And for that, it usually involves going on a little small adventure. Just, just for the purposes of... To try to find these cultists, kill these cultists, and then hopefully they drop... It's, it's, it's a random chance whether they drop this item that I'm looking for. Um, and that's where we'll take it. So I'm going to pick a direction... I'm going to go in that direction. I'll do a little exploration. And usually what I wind up doing here as well is, you know, never know what you might find. There might be some more ore deposits. Might be some towns. I don't know. I've explored most places, but technically, even if you pick a direction, there's infinitely other directions to go. So I don't know if I've gone this particular direction a lot. So off into the night we go. I am searching for cultists. That's, all, that's my search. My search is for cultists. Cultists and other treasures far and wide. Hey, look, an area where cultists might spawn, but they haven't. There's also a bunch of coal. I don't need coal. Oh, hey. Oh, sweet. Eldritch Abomination. I like that. Sweet. They might drop this stuff, too. Oh, you did a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage, actually. That was quite a lot of damage. How did you do that? I don't usually take that much damage for these things. Wow. That was a lot. Oh, hey. Hey, how's it going? I even had a magical shield, too. That doesn't usually happen. Ah, but it didn't drop anything cool, I don't think. Hover mode? Did you drop anything cool? Anything cool? Hunter? Anything at all? Nah, not really. I think what I usually main what I usually use those guys for is they will drop um 
they'll drop the- I don't remember what they're called. It's been- it's been a while since I found one of them. But they will drop these little wisp essences. And those little wisp essences can be distilled down to a particular element that you don't usually find in the magical world, which is Aurum. And so Aurum can be very, very useful, but you need to find it. And I am not being helped with that. Sorry, Stuart, I'm leaving you behind. <laughs> I have to leave you behind, Stuart. I will I will teleport you over here. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for always being supportive. Thank you for being my Yoshi, Stuart. You are, you are the creature that I can leave behind and just leave for dead. Although in my case, I can always bring you back with the power of... I don't know. I don't know if it's god power. Actually, come to think of it, I don't know whether or not I can do that because I have mod capabilities or whether that's naturally something that you can do. I never actually looked at that. I The thought had never occurred to me that I can teleport my pet to me because I am a mod. And because I have the privileges to be able to cheat. I don't remember that. What are you? Oh, you're a cool little spriggan. There's a red guy. That's not cultist energy, though. It's tougher. It's tougher to search through, like, the mountains and stuff. Because you never know, like, where these portal things might be found. So it's nicer if I can find, like, plains. Some flat ground. Oh, and apparently I haven't explored this way before. It really is an adventure. An adventure to find... I don't know. If I'm lucky, then I will be- I need two more of these items. These eyes of the occult or something like that. I don't remember what they're called. But they drop from the cultist, and if I can get two of them, then I will at least have the ingredients, the necessary components, to be able to open the eye, so to speak. Alright. What is going on in there? Oh my god, what is going on in there? Oh, I just heard an explosion! Yeah, that's definitely the game playing tricks on me. There's no machines over here. What the hell? Oh, what the heck are you? Oh, it's a Vespid. Um, can I hit you? I wanted to hit you. Did I hit you? Stop that. Stop that. Stop being all glitchy. That's not, that's not fun. Just a little poisoned. Just a wee little bit poisoned. Luckily, I have a jetpack. And that's good. Vespids, I think, drop wax, which can be used for... What? I don't remember. Don't even remember. I think... Vespid Wax is useful for something. I also found palm trees. That's cool. Does that drop my 100th backpack? No, I don't think they actually dropped anything. That's unfortunate. Oh, hey, you. Yeah, you drop... You drop clay. You drop Vest Wax. And you drop Propolis. Propolis can be used to create something. I don't know what Vest Wax can be used for. Sugar. Nice. And fuel. Like that. Propolis can be used for... Uh, I can create mycelium. Nice. I can also create clay from it. That's cool. What else can I use mycelium for? Honestly, that just seems useful. Nice. I didn't know that. Maybe there's some cultists around here. I don't know. There's no... Honestly, it's a little dark out. Oh, wait, look, cultists! Aha! There they are! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. And there's an uva raptor. Uva raptors are pretty dangerous. They allow you to jump really, really high. My Venoraptor allows me to move very, very fast, but Uva Raptors allow me to basically to fly. Or, or jump really high. So, to give me- and then glide. So, it is actually rather useful. Where'd you go? Oh, hi there. You jumped over me. That's excellent. You are very powerful. You're a very powerful raptor. Very powerful raptor. Oh, you jump up, and you come down, and then you die. Easily. I have Cocoa Beans. I don't think I need Cocoa Beans. Oh my god, look at them go! Apparently- the bees are feisty creatures. Did not realize that. Did not realize they were as feisty as I as, as they are. Even fighting other enemies as well. Hello? Can I fight? Come over here. I want to fight you. Come here. Oh, you're just too busy fighting each other. That's fine. There we go. I killed the I saved you only to kill you again. And there's another Uva Raptor over there and a bunch of cultists. Excellent. So I believe. If I'm correct in saying I can farm these guys, I believe it's only the warriors who drop the item that I'm looking for. So if I just kind of stay, like, carefully out of range, but just within range, then they should be able to keep spawning. Right? Hey. Hey. Can you see me? Hey, what's up? How's it going, dude? How's it going? What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Okay. Well, if I just hang here, then this will probably work. It's a lovely day. 
It's a lovely day to perch heretics. Oh, they're all coming after me now. All right, that's that's not fun. I am... Whoops. Hey, that's cool. Hey, that's cool and all, but, like, have you considered not doing that? Oh, man, they're really going for that. Oh, wow. That was... That was powerful. I am not the most defended person. I'm not super well prepared for stuff like this. I don't think I can... I don't think I can shoot their stuff back. Oh man, I didn't mean to get their attention. That is so sad. That is so sad. But you know what I can do? Oh my god, hi. Can you like, stop following me? Stop. Those homing blasts are not cool. Well, they're all hanging there. If I go the other way, are they following me? Oh, they're looking at me. Oh my god, they're looking at me. <laughs> I can see their gaze following me. Oh my god. That's creepy. Well, if I come down over here, maybe they'll come after me there. Perchance? Or maybe they're staring at me. It's creepy. Oh, no, no, no. They don't. Oh, they don't let up. These guys do not let up. No, they don't. They'll just keep on coming after me. Oh, stop. See, see, and then they shoot their blast and it doesn't stop following me. That is not fun. Not fun at all. Oh my god, stop screaming. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna go in after them. They're a little they're a little much. They're a little much to deal with, but I can take I can take care of them. I can take care of them. This is this is not that bad. Alright. I didn't want to do it that way, but I had to. I don't think they dropped what I was looking for, but that's okay. You your blood leaks charges. The evil monsters of the forest. I don't like the evil monsters of the forest. Hello, Uber Raptor. You're easy to take care of. As so long as you're not jumping all over the place. Yeah, that's that's not cool. All right, that's okay. So the other, the other magical cultist didn't follow me, so that's okay. What about you? Will you bother me? Okay, I want to get just within range for you to follow me, so you can get all your other guys to come after me. Right, right. Oh, mangrove trees. These are like my favorite trees. I don't know why, but like mangrove trees are my favorite. All right, if I just hang here, we'll be fine. Right, right, buddy. Yeah, this is this is fine. This is a good place to be. This is the place to be. Right in between the mangrove trees. Just me, you, and the heathens. Right? Just me, you, and the heathens? All right, a ritual book. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. I don't think I need the ritual book. Or I may need the ritual book. I have a feeling, because I changed my username recently, so all my magic data got wiped. I may have actually needed that ritual book first. Let's take a look at that. Can I... Can I do that? I don't need these... Hoods on me. I don't need the hoods. The hoods aren't useful to me. I don't need mangrove... Uh, palm saplings? That's cool. I don't need palm saplings. Nope. Don't need the liver. I don't need sugar. Crimson cultist? I don't need that. I think I have plenty of those. Don't need iron shorts. However... This book is filled with strange symbols. Click to study it. Study! Nice. I don't remember what that does for me. I think it opens up another path in my Thalmanomicon. Right? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. A cautionary tale. And this is... Much of this is written in a spidery, unintelligible script, but what you do understand offers some strange insights into the goals of the Crimson Cult. Their origins are shrouded in mystery, but it seems their goal is the perfection of a ritual they refer to as Apertus Oculus, opening the eye. What it does is unclear, but you doubt it is anything good. Interestingly enough, you think Thaumaturgy might offer the missing pieces they have so long sought. Obviously, only a madman was, would, would pursue this line of study. Ahaha! But I am a madman. And there's opening the eye. There it is, right there. I need scribing tools to be able to figure out how to do it, but I got that. Um, I just need... I still know that I need those. Those objects that you see there is what I'm looking for. And these guys should drop them, I believe. Hey. There we go. Come between the mangrove trees. You, me, and the mangrove trees. Don't come around. No, no, no. I, I saw you trying to make your way around. That's not cool. That's not... That's not chill. That is not very cash money of you. I don't appreciate that. You could be more chill. You could be more chill if you wanted to be. Isn't that a musical? I I definitely remember a musical being called, like, Be More Chill or something. Actually, I think it was put on by my university. And I want to say it had something to do with this little creature that lived inside of this dude's brain and telling him how to be more cool. You're dead now. That's cool. 
All right. Uh, oh, there's more of them. Sweet. Well, it seems that they all kind of want to fall into that puddle there. I don't need that. I don't need them to do that. That's not cool. Uh, except for the one that did fall. In which case, he can't touch me now. He can't hurt me anymore. <laughs> he can't hurt me anymore. They also drop void seeds, it seems. Which are good. And all these leggings. And if I combine these leggings together, I'll get more leggings. Better leggings! The best leggings ever! They'll cover my pants! Because I will wear them over my pants. Usually you'd wear them in replacement of pants, but no, not me. Not me. I will wear them over top of them. And you dropped a thing. It wasn't very useful. Oh my god, there's more! Hi there. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. How was it going? Want to meet in between the mangrove trees? Nice. Hey, come here. Oh, do you not... You try to avoid water, don't you? You don't like water. I don't think these guys can swim. Oh, that's so funny. Such weaklings. Such weak little warriors. You don't know nothing. And you also don't feel like jumping. Why aren't you jumping? I think your pathfinding algorithm is just odd. Oh, hi. Another one. Cool. Yeah, it's fine. If y'all just want to come down here, it's fine. We don't need to hang between the mangrove trees. Instead, we can, we can just hang here. That's fine. Oh my god, hi. There's something in there. Oh, hi. There's something in there. That's fine. I'll get out of there. Come to the light. Show me your face. Show me what you have. Crimson Rites. Is that another book? or oh, that's the one I had from before. That's cool. That's very cool. That's chill. I like that. More books. Or just the same book. That's fine too. Maybe one day they'll drop their eyes. I don't know what kind of eye it is, to be honest. I don't know if it's their eyes, whether you have to give up your eyes to be able to, to like, to be able to hold these things. You have a very powerful looking sword. Hi there, and you just came out of nowhere. That's cool. Oh my god, nope, you're shooting your shit at me. Not appreciated. Nope, I don't like that. Nope, you're doing your thing again. Ah, oh, you started chasing after me. Ah. Oh. Well, I think I've milked these guys for all I can. Gonna have to find another set of another group of fools. Oh, you're setting everything on fire? The cinders aren't gonna like that. The spriggans and whatnot aren't gonna like that. Actually, let me wait around for a hot second and see if any more cultists spawn. I think if there's no more mages praying to the thingamabob, the obelisk, then I don't believe any more spawn. Oh, look at that. One more spawn. Two more spawned. Just kidding. Maybe it's while maybe it's while there are no banners left. Dude, I feel like I'm in like a dogfight as I maneuver around these thingamabobs. Yeah, those those little those little red ones. That's not cool, dude. If I lead you over here, come over here. Come over. Oh yeah, come over. Come over here. Come on. Come on. Come over here. More. Alright, well, maybe I don't need you. If I don't actually need you, I'm going to kill you. You are of no use to me. Thank you. Maybe it's that I have to keep at least one of them there. Or maybe I have to keep the banners there. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I am very hurt. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. I uh, I felt too far. I, I think I forgot to use my jetpack on the ground. All right. Well, let's we'll heal up for a moment. Let's take, take shop. What's going on? Got a couple of things here. That's fine. I don't need these. Crimson Knight. Eh. That's not very cool. These guys. They, it's cool internally. It's like it's like an inside thing of theirs. Like they like they think it's cool. They think it's cool, but it's not it's not actually cool. I scan this book. Ooh. Spooky. Spooky indeed. But not super spooky. Not spooky enough. Alright. Come at me, y'all. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Here we go. Yeah. Easy. I think if I just hang here, if I hang like just above them, I should be able to hit them from above. They can't do anything about it. <laughs> nice. Can't touch me when I'm in the air. Crimson Knights. Easy. But they haven't dropped my things. They haven't dropped what I want them to drop. I want you to drop the eye. Drop more eyes for me. Drop more eyes. There's a helmet. There's another void seed. That's cool. But that's not what I want. It's not what I need. I don't need those. Alright, where the... You're hanging down there. 
There's a spider down there. Why are you angry at me? I haven't touched you. Are you chill? You chill? Yeah, you're chill. You're chill. Will there be more knights? Will we be graced by the presence of more fighters from the other realms? I don't think so. But we can take this moment to chill for a hot second. How you doing? It's check-in time. Just checking in. I'm doing all right. It's uh, gotten a little cold in my apartment. I could probably turn a heater on. There's no more cultists. So I guess we'll have to kill the last one. But maybe maybe this guy will have what I'm looking for. Even if we get one, it's still totally worth it. Hey there, you come back. And you're, I don't know why you came so close to me. Sorry, I was just playing Hollow Knight the other day and there were a lot of spiders that were really kind of freaking me out. So sorry if I'm gonna seem a little skittish. All right, y'all didn't drop what I wanted you to drop. What you, I wanted you to drop, which is okay. Or maybe, maybe that's in my backpack. I don't think so though. No, uh, I was receiving void seeds and gold coins and knowledge fragments, which are all well and good. However, not exactly what I'm looking for. All right, well, I'll leave this behind. I will go find another cultist, another area. Uh, for that, I need Stuart. Stuart, come here, buddy. Here we go. Oh. Sorry. Oh, I was hoping we could fly from up here, but if you really want to go from down here, that's fine too. That's okay. Come along, my s comrade. My my uh, avian comrade. Is this thing technically a bird? Are dinosaurs technically birds? Because if dinosaurs are technically birds, then I think this Ventoraptor is also technically a bird as well. I mean, it has feathers. Is that is that bird enough? Come to think of it, are there any birds out there that I know of that don't... Are there any feathered creatures out there that I know of that don't... That aren't considered birds? I can't think of any. Chickens don't necessarily fly, but they're birds. They have feathers. Hmm. No, I really can't think of any. If I had feathers, I don't think I would consider myself a bird. Come to think of it. I don't think I would identify as such. And then again, but I guess there's probably some anthropologist that might be the right science, science or somebody else out there who like, whatever, uh, there's probably a word for like a birdologist. Oh, hi, hi, hey, found more cultists. That's perfect. All right, this is, this is perfect. More cultists. That's great. Uh, actually, you know what we'll do? I'll sleep. I'll sleep the night away. I'll give myself some rest before the, for, before the battle, the battle for the eye. All right, I just need to wait for no go no gooders to form. The knights. Hello. Any knights? Any knights gonna form? There we go. There's one. Oh, there's a little guy. There's that dude. There's that guy. And I thought when I first started playing, I think it was this mod pack, or I think it was just technic mod technical mod packs in general. I was like, what I really want out of this is to be able to zoom in. Because I there was at least one mod pack where I, that I played where you could click a button, you could zoom in and see, like, what you were looking at. Uh, but I can't do that in this mod pack. I, I think if I had a spyglass, I could do that. That is an item. Excuse me, I don't have one of those. Okay, y'all are conglomerating over there. So if I go in that direction, maybe I can catch your attention. Okay, far enough away. Oh, plenty of chickens! Wasn't I just talking about chickens? Why was I talking about chickens? I don't remember why I was talking about chickens. Something about their- something about bird- oh, birds, birds. What do we consider birds? Are birds just things with feathers? I don't know. In that case, what did it- uh, I don't know. I was wondering if my Ventoraptor was a chicken. A, a bird. Hey, buds. Hey, buds. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Yeah, walk on over. Come on. Walk on over. Red Rover, Red Rover. Actually, what mode are you on? Are you on mining mode? I could probably hit you from here, right? Eh. 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 There we go. Oh! But it doesn't trigger you, apparently. Um, if I get close enough. Oh, hi. Hi, you're coming near me? Hi. I am a friend. You can come a little bit closer if you'd like. Just. Dawn nice and. 
We could be all nice and friendly to each other. Oh, hi, hi. Yes, yes, this is perfect. I uh, will lead you away, and then all of your friends will come after me. There we go. Where are the other ones? No, what the? What about your friends? I know you have friends. Why aren't your friends coming after me? Oh. What was that all about? I guess I'll just sneak up on them one at a time. That's boring. I like the big epic fight scenes, like... Like, like in that one Marvel movie, where all the all the Marvel came together, that was cool. I like that Marvel movie. Hey, yeah, I know, I know. And then your friend will spawn again, and then we'll have an epic battle, an epic PvP battle. It's so cool. It's Minecraft. Minecraft is fun. It's for everyone. Knowledge fragment. That's cool. And then we got two people, two on one. I can handle that. I'm no stranger to multiple things occurring at the same time. I'm not particularly averse to it either. But you didn't drop what I wanted. Shame. You brought dropped the chest plate though. That's cool. I don't need that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. And I should turn this off. I shouldn't have the ability to just wipe things out of existence. That feels too cheating like. Hey. Oh right, you can't. Oh, you saw me. Oh, shucks, y'all saw me. That's unfortunate. All right. This is probably not a good situation. I'm okay. Everything is on fire. Oh, God, everything is on fire. Wow, that is incredible. All right, I'm on fire. I should go into the water to prevent that. That's cool. All right, nice, 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 nice. All right, bring things over here. Did anything good come of this? Hi. That's not good. You're not good. You did not. No, no, no. You're a cinder. Oh, oh, I don't like you. Okay. That's unfortunate. I know you can follow me up here. I know you can, and I know you will. And you only came about because these dumbasses set the forest on fire. Don't you know that you deserve the forest spirits like that? <sighs> Dummies. You don't know. You know, for ones that are hip to magic, you don't really know what's going on in, like, the magical world. Magical world of creatures. Magical world of animals. You don't know. You don't know, dude. You don't know what it's like to set the forest on fire. I was molded in a flaming forest. Groomed by it. You don't know what it's like, Batman. I never actually watched that movie. I haven't watched the uh, the Batman movies. It's on my list. I, <laughs> I have this completely vague and ever-growing list of things that i plan on watching and the list doesn't actually exist it doesn't have a physical form i'm just like yeah i'll try to watch it at some point and then maybe eventually i will all right y'all did not have what i was looking for i don't think although i didn't really check around i'll eat a hydro chop to make myself feel better <laughs> munch 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 okay I know I killed a bunch of cultists somewhere over here. There were a couple of chickens that perished. That's unfortunate. Well, chickens have to die too, I guess. There's a cinder over there because the forest is still on fire. They can drop blaze rods, so that's pretty advantageous if I stick around and kill them, but I don't I don't need blaze rods. I really don't think I do. Or maybe these drop fire charges. I don't exactly remember. Anything good? Nah. Nah, not really. Not what I was looking for. Just boots, chest plate, don't need seeds, don't need seeds, don't need more titles. And I don't think I got any more eyeballs. Right? Nah. No more eyeballs. No more balls of the eye. No more. Eh, not this time around at least. Alright, Stuart. 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 Where are you, bud? Where did you go? Oh where, oh where has my Stuart gone? Oh where, oh where could he be? Oh, well. Guess I'll have to rip him forth from the ether again. Oh, I'm running low on... I am running low on energy. On magical powers. So actually, being that I'm out in the field like this, if I can find a point, like a, a node like this, that has like uh, the, uh, the elements that I'm looking for, I can actually repair myself along the road. Like uh, Terra. Terra is something that I need to be able to, uh, to heal myself. So what I'll do is, I'll keep my Thalma meter out, and I'll if I have it like this, then nodes glow a little bit more prominently. Like that! There we go. I can see them a lot clearer with this thing on. 
So I will prioritize making myself feel better. And healing up my healing up my whole everything. I can also break these things apart as well and destroy them. Uh, which doesn't really do it. There's there's an infinite number of them, so really there's no detriment, but you gotta watch out. Some nodes are hungry, and they will not let you go, and they are dangerous, and they will kill you. I don't think I've ever escaped successfully a hungry node. I tried to get rid of it one time, but you can't really get close enough to destroy it. They're dangerous. I think there's something you could do with hungry nodes, too. I think you can make them less hungry. You can, like, heal nodes. I think that's some... That's some magic. I'm pretty sure that's, like, a, a thing you can do with the magics. I don't exactly remember, though. How's my wand doing? Yeah, I'm still low on Terra. I need a green aura node if I can find them. If I can find a green aura node, then that would be good. Usually you can find them in the forests. Oh, that one's a blue one. Blue and red and there's a lot of stuff on that, right? Oh, I can also scan them too. And I get points for that, which I should be doing. If I scan them, then I, there's actually, um, I think it's, if I click the T button... Let me check. If I click the T button, no, it's not the T button. It's one of these buttons I can click and I can actually see what nodes are around me. R? Y? F? No, that, that wasn't it. That just allows Stuart to blast forward. All right, well, I can actually see where the nodes are and I also get points for them. Points? Ivy? Anything? No. More nodes? It's Terra that I'm looking for. If I don't have Terra, then I really can't heal myself. Because that's the one I'm lowest on. And also, of course, this will help me find, like, hidden, like, obelisk areas. Like, um, I guess they're not hidden per se. But they'll help me see the nodes. Because there's always a node at those obelisks. There always is. Alright, my game is... Kind of lagging out. It's interesting. It hasn't... I haven't noticed my game lagging recently but now it is the server is lagging i don't think it's my game or maybe it is maybe it is my game i don't know my computer could definitely be more powerful than it is now let's see what do you got i see terra in there i'll take it there we go there that's what i was looking for and some dark elements too but where be the cultists have i healed up well nah, i could definitely use more i'll keep looking Keep my eyes peeled for more bright, bright stars in the forest. Oh, okay. All right, we're falling. That's fine. All right, sorry, Stuart. Actually, is there anything cool down there? Uh, looks like oil sands? Is oil sands? Oh, sweet. Oil sands ore. Well, um, I don't need more oil sands right now. Well, mm, no, I, I don't need more oil sands. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. Oh, is that a silverwood tree? Oh, that, uh, that is a... Is it a silverwood tree? Looks like a silverwood tree. No, it's a giant bald cypress. Whoa. I have never seen such majestic a tree before. It is very large. Very white. Majestic. Beautiful. How does he do it? There's a couple of ore nodes over here. I'm going to... Rest. Oh, but they're hot goblins. So I'll sleep on top of this tree. Can I do that? Can I sleep on top of a tree? I can't sleep on top of a tree. Easy. Easy. When in doubt, climb up a tree. Rest up there. Easy. Alright, and then you will burn. You will burn in the sunlight. If you want to. Yeah. Yeah, you... He, they wanted to. You've got water in Patricio. Give me your Dicio. Give me your water in Patricio. There was another one over there. What kind of... kind of... What kind of magic you got? It looks like it's green to me. I like green. It's got Terra. Like Terra. Good Terra. Yum Terra. Oh, did I? Oh. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't exactly absorb everything from it. Now, I have a research perk that allows me to not drain these nodes. If you are an unskilled magician, you can drain these things completely and leave them dead. Although, I don't know why you'd want to naturally anything good in here oh there's some there's some stuff here that could be useful Doo -doo 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 -doo. oh strange i thought i heard something from another realm trying to destroy me an enderman perhaps an ender woman an ender person oh, i see you i see you hanging around 
So you bouncing around the map. All right, Stuart, come back to me. I think we have properly refueled ourselves. Off into another direction to find cultists. Technically, am I the cultist or are they the cultists? They are labeled as such, but who gave them those labels? Do they really identify with the cultist ideologies? Maybe I'm the cultist. Maybe this whole the world is doomed thing is though just the way that it is. Maybe I'm the crazy one. Oh, there. No, that's just an obelisk. Obelisks are cool, but they're not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for... Oh, no, no, no. That's totem. Totem. I am looking for the obelisks. I have found a totem. And I'd rather keep to this plainsy area, because I think it'll make it easier to find them. But where could you be? There are pumpkins around. There are trees around. That's fine. There's a little fountain in the distance. That's cute, but... Oh, I've fallen. All right. Sorry, Stuart. <laughs> I am escaping from you yet again. From this vantage point, I see a volcano. I'll admit, I thought volcanoes were super duper cool when I first started playing like Technic Mod Packs, but they're not really that cool. Because, like, only if you have one that's like this does it actually look like there's lava, like, pouring down it. Other than that, it just doesn't look that cool. Hmm. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate indeed. Well, there's another plains area. Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, do you have cultists, though? You may not. Not all of them do. Ah! Lovely. And there's a village in the distance, too. That could be useful. Oftentimes, the villages will spawn with, like, apiaries and stuff like that, which are just the taddest bit difficult to grow on your own so i just kind of steal from them and also random chests random dungeon chests those are always good to find right what do you have cold coke that's useful i can take those hey yo you you give me seeds for stuff that's cool oh, it's also getting dark i can sleep i can do a little rest before i go fight the cultists i'll rest up in the town next door i'll save my game stock up from the local shop the apothecary for potions Although, that's the wrong game. That's not this game. This game doesn't have that. Or rather, this mod pack doesn't have that. And also, I don't have I don't have emeralds. I should really have a steady supply of emeralds on me so that if I go out exploring, then I can trade with the villagers and, you know, be a satisfactory citizen of a town that's not my own. But I don't. I always forget my emeralds. I'm always forgetting. All right, but I'll head over here. I'll wait for the dudes to spawn. And hey, you know what? If I don't get any eyes, that's fine. You want to sleep on that? I did. I did. Oh, I can only sleep at night. That's unfortunate. All right. Oh, guess I'll have to wait for the dudes to spawn. Oh, there's one. Come here, you. Hey, buddy. Hey, if I am sneaky about this, will you fight me and only me? I am your master. Hi there, my name is Cameron. Have you heard about the good word of somebody other than whatever you, whoever you're currently praying? Oh shit, hi there. Oh shoot. Oh hi. Well, this would be easy to fight them. Well, now that I've gotten their attention, now that I've gotten your attention, allow me to tell you about car insurance. It's a great, great thing. If you drive a car, you're gonna want this. What's that? You don't know what a car is? What's an automobile? <laughs> to mention you guys living in. But did I only catch the attention of two of them? Ooh, that's good. Oh. Yeah, I guess I only caught the attention of a couple of them. Nice. I don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need this. Don't need that. I think my miner's backpack can hold the coke. Nope. Can't hold the coke. I love going into towns and stealing their coke. You never know what you might need. You never know when the coke might come in handy. You never really know. Alright. Any oh hi. Hey, what's up? You know, your mage friends over there are really cool. Like, the way that they, like, <laughs> their bolts and stuff, very admirable. Could you tell them to chill out, though? Because that'd be cool. All right. This is, this is good. This is a good position to be in. I'm sure more will spawn. If I hang around here, they will spawn. This is good. 
This is very, very good. Oh, I should heal myself. Oh, I don't have. I need more chops. I need to consume more food so I can get up my chops. There we go. That feels good. Um, and my tools and weaponry and whatnot are fine. There you are. I see you over there. I see you. There are more spawning. I see more. Hi. Hi, can you see me beyond this tree? Yeah, now you can see me, right? N now can you? No, you can't. Hi. Hey. You got friends? I feel like I'm in like one of those movies where they're trying to like sneak their way into a kingdom and they're just like, just guard after guard after guard. Just like, hey, psst, come here. I want to tell you secrets. And then you beat the shit out of them until there's just no guards left. I will find my way to the treasure. Okay, you're over there. So if I come around the corner, if I hover my way over the lake and I go for a different vantage point, perhaps. Where'd you go? Oh, where did you? Oh, you went exactly. I was just over there. It's okay. Hover mode. Move my way over here. All right, pal. Hey. You got games on your phone? Hey. Hey, bud, you got games on your phone? Oh, oh, okay. They found me. All right. I've officially antagonized them again. Yeah, set the forest on fire. See what happens. See what happens when you set the forest on fire. Hi. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what happens when you set the forest on fire. Spoiler alert. Is there any more of them? Ah, oh, they're all gone. <laughs> it's all gone. It didn't drop anything cool either. It's apparently... It's interesting. It is a lot more difficult to get these eyes than I originally thought them to be. Like, I think before the server restarted, or uh, the server retrograded, so to speak, I'm pretty sure I had three, and I was on I only needed one more. And I just, like, collected them over, over the time. And I think when we retrograded, I only have two of them now. And I don't feel... I don't feel the need to glitch in another one of them i can i can find them again not this time apparently nah all right well i think the oil has been extracted so i think i'll take my take myself back to my laboratory i'll make my way back home because i don't need to be here anymore if i find any more cultists along the way cool if not eh, we'll just make our way home there is progress to be made. We're trying to go to the moon. That the main goal is to go to the moon. If I really wanted to focus on magic stuff, I could do that. But that's not that's not my current focus. I really want to build this rocket today, if I can. And really, the only thing that's stopping me now is that lighter. I thought it was the TNT. It's just what, what's been stopping me is just the need for more types of flammables and explosives. Reactables, if you will. And I need more of them, and I don't have them. This crag biome is pretty good. Because then I can get myself to a really high vantage point and just fly my way home. Or fly my way to the other peaks. Peaks and valleys. Oh, come on. Come on, Stuart. Jump. Jump, Stuart. Thank you. You're such, such, a, such a good whatever you are. Dinoraptor. That's what you are. If you look down below, you'll see giant flowers. Beautiful giant flowers as the, the world attempts to figure itself out around me. It's interesting. I am playing on upgraded hardware, uh, the server-wise, and I didn't have a problem the other day. But honestly, it's a pretty big mod pack. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. So please excuse the buffering. It is here because it loves us. It's here because it understands. The game understands. Like, you are doing a lot of stuff right now. I understand that. So I'm going to slow down so that you can enjoy the view. There's a lot going on around you. Stop and smell the roses. Stop and smell the flowers. That's what, that's what the server is trying to do for me. It's trying to be like, you haven't stopped and smelled the roses today. You have to stop and smell the roses. You're right. I do. I do have to stop and smell the roses. If I don't stop and smell the roses, then who will? I don't, I, I don't see roses anywhere. If roses are like few and far between. I have found many other types of flowers, including those giant ones. It actually is quite nice. I don't remember which mod it is. I want to say it might actually be the biomes of plenty perhaps that adds like a bunch of different types of flowers i don't remember 
but you can find them like all over the place. You can also spawn them in too. Usually, if you like want to make flowers, you can just use bone meal on the ground and flowers will pop up. And it'll be flowers from all the different, all the mods. All of the mods, not just some of them. Ooh, pixies. I'm gonna kill one of those. I'm gonna absorb you. I don't remember what I can use pixie dust for, but it it's, can be useful. I don't remember if it's useful or not. Did you drop stuff? I don't think you did. Oh, all your glitter falls to the ground. Oh, another one. Will you drop pixie dust? Pixie dust? Give me your pixie dust. Oh, it's a fairy. Come on, come here. Yes. I killed the fairy. Killing the fairies. Jorgen von Strangel would not be very pleased with me. And it sells pix- uh, it's, It dropped pixie dust, yeah. I don't know what pixie dust is used for. I can't remember. I don't think it was useful, though. Can I scan it? I cannot scan it. I can scan the coke, though. Pixie dust is used for ambrosia. But you need a bunch of other things and these celestial crystal shards, which I don't believe that I can get. I feel oddly drained. <laughs> How odd. But I don't think I can get those celestial shards from anywhere. So really, this pixie dust is not... It's not useful to me. Oh, well. Grab some hydro chops. Fill myself back up again. Make my way back home. With the power of Stuart. Stuart, my boy. Stuart, my lad. We ride. Back to the laboratory. Back to the laboratory. I remember these areas. These areas aren't new. Interesting how I didn't run into any obelisks on my way back. I thought I might have. Oh, well. Maybe I'll run into wraiths in the forest. Maybe I can hear them now. Can I hear them now? The wraiths? The wailing wraiths? I cannot. They are not bothering me. Thank goodness. For I do not want to be bothered. I couldn't be bothered with things like that. Alright, well, I'm back. Uh, hopefully all the oil is done. Which I'm sure it is. Strange secrets. With whisper, whispers to be. Yeah, that's what that said. And these void seeds. I think I can just keep these in here. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't do much else, right? I got a bunch of stuff on my hunter's backpack. I will keep the rotten flesh out of there. Uh, and most of the meat. I don't need all the different types of meats in there. Rotten flesh has a place to go. Uh, maybe that. Uh, maybe it'd be fine. I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep watch on it. All right, put it in there. In there. Propolis. Sure, I'll put Propolis in there too. I'll put Pixie Dust as well. This is probably going to work against me. We'll see. All right, are you done? You're full up on oil. Great. And you were... Wow, there's a lot of oil in there. Excellent. Let me go grab my uh, cells, which I think are in storage. Cell? Cell. And the money cell. Propene. Forgot that I had that in my inventory, in my uh, storage system. That's good. So let's see. Let's go back to figuring out gasoline. Specifically, I need diesel. Not that gasoline. I need a diesel cell. Diesel. 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 To create diesel, I need light fuel and heavy fuel. To create light fuel and heavy fuel, I need their corresponding type of naphtha. Or whatever. Heavy fuel can be brought about from sulfuric heavy fuel, hydrogen gas to create hydrogen sulfide, and heavy fuel. Heavy fuel. Heavy fuel. But I need sulfuric heavy fuel cell. To create sulfuric heavy fuel, I need to use on oil well, circuitry one. Right? Or regular oil? It's regular oil. Regular oil. Circuitry one. So I'll do half of it is one and half of it is the other uh whatever the other program is sulfuric naphtha sulfuric gas sulfuric light fuel is two and one all right okay two and one so i'm gonna collect 16 cells because i don't need i don't think i need that much of it i don't exactly know what the conversion rate is either so i could be slightly off about that Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, da, 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 da. Now I have sixteen of them. Sweet. 
Now, this thing is going to continue doing its thing. That's that's fine. That's all well and good. But now I need this distillery. And the distillery will create uh, what's next for me. It's not going to be sulfuric naphtha. It's going to be whatever else comes out the other side. So I will also disable this as well so it doesn't go anywhere because I don't want to get it dunked in my system. And I need a screwdriver. And I probably have one of those in hammer space. It's not that screwdriver. This screwdriver. Yeah. So let's take... I am starving. Oh, I'm glitched. I need Stuart. Stuart, buddy. Hey, bud. I need to get on you and then get off of you. And then you can go to sleep now. Bye. Back in your Pokeball. Back in your Pokeball. That's fine. So now let's take eight of this. And turn it into whatever. Actually, you know what I could do? Hmm... I don't really want to do that. Okay, I actually did something incorrectly. I'm going to disable it over here too. So that I do 16 for sulfuric oil, blah, blah, whatever. And then I'll do 16 buckets the other one. You never know. I might need more light oil, heavy oil some other time. So I'll take that. I will take that. I will reprogram you to be a different circuit value. There is no crafting table in here. That's weird. I should have one of those. Oh, well, that's fine. There's the ghost of Stuart's past. He's still hanging in there. Hi, Stuart's past. Uh, I think you go in the middle and I put you here. That's program circuit one. So program circuit one will create a bunch of, I think it was heavy fuel. So this will not be sulfuric nap, it'll be sulfuric heavy fuel. If I put that in there, and now let her rip. Push, push. There we go. And that will do its thing. And there she a bunch of sulfuric Heavy fuel that comes out the other side. Not exactly sure how much. Um, and then I'll see what the... I'll only do it in pieces. Because I don't want to gunk things up. Because it, it only converts, like, I think to 15 millibuckets at a time. And if I don't do my math correct... I'm not actually doing any math right now. But if I don't do it correctly, it'll kind of gunk things up. I'll have to break my machines down and stuff. And I just... I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody... Nobody got time for that. Oh, you were still filling up with oil. Oh, shoot. I did not want you to do that. You were pushing, aren't you? Please no fuel at auto output. All right. I screwed that up. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Sorry about that, computer. But you'll, you'll go do your thing. I'll get some sulfuric heavy fuel here. Then the sulfuric... What's going on? So many explosions going on. Well, then... Anyway... I take the sulfuric heavy fuel and then I combine that with hydrogen, I believe, right? Sulfuric he heavy fuel. All right, that's not going anywhere. We'll try it from here. Distillery, sulfuric heavy fuel, sulfuric heavy fuel. Heavy fuel combines with hydrogen in groups of eight to create a bunch of heavy fuel and hydrogen sulfide. So I need at least eight of that. So I'll fill this up to the maximum which will take a little bit. And then, uh, and then afterwards, we'll make some more heavy fuel. Heavy fuel, light fuel, all types of fuel. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Technically, haven't I been, I have been creating some hydrogen sulfide back here, but it doesn't fill up very fast. That's good. I'm okay with that. And I think, do I, is it the same circuitry? Oh my God, there's already sulfuric naphtha in here. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to break my machine apart. That's sad. Unless, uh, well, let me see. Let me see. I might have to break that apart. Distillery. Heavy fuel, sulfuric. I just need, oh, it's number four. Okay, so I don't need to change that around, but I do need to break it. Oh, because there's too much sulfuric naphtha in there. That's sad. All right. Because there's no, I don't think there's a way to empty a machine's fuel buffer or its input fluid buffer. So hopefully this doesn't break things. I really hope it doesn't. There's a lot of stuff in that inventory. Hmm. Let me put this cold coke away before I do so. It's no problem. I can always I can always fix it again. Put my things away. I don't need my chisel. I haven't used my chisel in a while. Um, and I'll keep this evil book of nastiness over here. Yeah, that's fine. Evil book of nastiness can go away. All right, break it apart. It had a bunch of stuff in it. That's okay. I'll just put it back here. That reconnected. That's okay. And I just need to make sure that I... 
I need my wire cutter to reconnect the power to it because it doesn't currently have power. There we go. Put the battery back. Batteries in one of heat, one of these. Probably in you. Hello, battery. Hello, hydrogen. Uh, okay. And put everything back where it needs to be. Hydrogen fuel, put it there. Got the circuit, put it there. Great. And fluted gets auto output. This will be filled with not naphtha, but fuel. And I don't want that proceeding either. So how you doing? You've still got quite a bit to go, but I need at least eight. I need at least eight of you. I'm not doing that math correctly. I'm not even worried. You know, I'm not even worrying about the math. Let's not worry about the math for a moment. Let's just chill. It's about halfway there. When it's finished doing that, I guess that'll be good. Honestly, I think what I'll do is I'll just, I'll fill up these fuel cells just so I can do things in exact. Oh, well, I guess I need to be careful about what's in exact amount because I know it rounds and can sometimes be difficult. Ugh. All right, how about instead, I'll do it this way. This will block. So I'll just kind of make heavy fuel until I know, I'll, I'll make heavy fuel until I realize that I'm not making heavy fuel anymore. That's what I'll do. So I'll push into there. Eventually, this will fill up with enough sulfuric heavy fuel. It'll go over here. It'll turn into heavy fuel. I'll have enough heavy fuel. Then I'll do the same thing for the light fuel. And then hopefully I can make diesel, which will hopefully be able to fill up my lighter. If it doesn't fill up the lighter, then I guess I'll have to figure something else out next time. I'll have to do a little bit of experimenting first. Because currently, usually what I like to try to do is I'll try to figure things out ahead of time and then use the streams as a way to just accomplish those goals and prepare things in advance. I didn't expect this. So we're doing a little impromptu exploration. Don't know if it's don't know if it's convenient, but it's working nonetheless. Ever so slightly. There's about three more buckets worth of stuff that I need to put in there. You're filled up on oil. Uh yeah, okay. You should just keep doing what you're doing. Auto fluid auto output. Keep keep doing what you're doing. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. You can you can fill back up with oil and stuff. I won't worry about it anymore. There's plenty of steam in there being used. Um, so my steam my steam boilers have kicked on. It's perfect. It's great. It's wonderful. So we just kind of got to wait for that. That's pretty much all there is left. Um, we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, how is life? Sometimes I don't know what to talk about. It, I'll admit it. I'm a, rather, I'm a rather chatty person at times. However, sometimes I just don't know what to chat about. Think. Think, 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 Cameron. Think about it for a moment. Nah. I don't really have anything. Sometimes it's just nice to just wait around. And just chill for a little bit. Sometimes. And then something will come to me. And when something comes to me, then I can talk about that. So another thing that I've done recently, and I just realized, I just tried figuring this out the other day, is I have a buddy of mine who uh, plays GameCube games on stream, and I asked him about how he does so, and he uses this emulator called Dolphin. And so I finally figured out how to play, how to use this software called Dolphin. And Dolphin is a GameCube emulator. And I figured out how that worked the other day and downloaded a couple of games. And one of those games that I downloaded that I managed to find a really convenient pack for. Uh, also, by the way, I can see that my it seems that my band my uh, bandwidth is getting pretty low. So it seems that I my internet connection is dropping. Thanks, Comcast. Really appreciate that. Always appreciate you doing what you do, which is very shitty service. Cannot wait to get into a different apartment. Anyways, but so I got this. I got uh, some of those games are Paper Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. God, I love playing that game. Super Mario Sunshine, which I've expressed my love for before. Um, another one is uh, Kirby Air Ride, which I love playing. I've never actually played that on stream, but my God, I really, really love that game so much. And actually, a buddy of mine who also streams, Lycos Lore, Lycos underscore Lore, twitch.tv. Love you, man. But he, he and I love to play Kirby Air Ride together, but we haven't recently uh because we have to you know you have to be in the same location to play the game together you have to be on the same gamecube and only recently did uh did we come to a point where i was able to fix his gamecube so that we could actually play on it which was cool i think we did a couple of uh, episodes of that 
uh, on his YouTube channel, which was really fun. But so with this emulator, I was like, yo, I wonder if there's a way to be able to play the game remotely with him on PC. And lo and behold, there were some epic modders out there who did it. Uh, apparently there is a, like a Kirby Air Ride hack pack that is able to like play the game over like remotely which is like really really cool and i was like wow that's awesome i'm really excited to see that okay so i think i'm gonna take this program circuit out of there i think do i have enough naphtha i might be able to time this perfectly but so there may be a point in time where i'll be able to play kirby air Raid with my buddy and do a co-stream sounds like it'll be fun uh, i don't exactly know how much left i need more of this was that enough oh i'm really close i'm really close Maybe two? I don't know what the math is, so... Okay. I just got 30. So I, I think it's going to be a slight... I think it's going to be slightly over the top. Okay, I think that's it. There we go. Nice. Epic. All right, the heavy fuel is coming out. It's not going into here, thank goodness. And then I can fill up my things of heavy fuel. Awesome. Uh, and I should have at least some for diesel. Uh, okay. Now what I need to do is I need to program this to circuit two to create light fuel and basically do the exact same thing all over again. For for a couple of minutes, that is. And then I transfer it back to, I don't remember, I think it was uh, number three, I think, I believe. Do, 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 do. My fiance texted me soonish, within the hour. I will probably stop streaming within the hour. We still have some, like I mentioned before, Anna and I are trying to do a couple of things today. She's got a couple of plans for the evening as well. Feel free to text me, dear. Or, or feel free to just ask me. I'm literally right here. What? I'm literally right here. You no. can just ask me. No, I don't have to text. It's okay. Yeah, I'll probably be finished with this within the hour. That is going a lot faster. Light fuel is a lot easier to make, it seems. Interesting. Did you make a rocket yet? Uh, I haven't made a rocket yet. I'm very, very close, I think. You're so late. What was that? I thought you were supposed to make a rocket. I am making a rocket. <laughs> I'm gonna make a rocket today. That's my plan, at least. And I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting closer. Oh, did I actually get all the, I did get all the heavy fuel out of there. Great. I thought I might have broken it before I had a chance to do so. That could have been bothersome. That could have been not so good. Take my cells out of there. Put the hydrogen cell in there. Put the backpack in there. This is actually filling up a whole heck of a lot faster than the heavy fuel, which actually kind of makes sense. So, that makes total sense, honestly. Let me take out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have my heavy fuel. Epic. And this will be coming along soon. If this works out the way that I think it, it does, I should have a rocket in the next 10 minutes. We'll see. Crossing my fingers on that. How does this scan? Is this scan? Can I scan that? Nah, I, I usually can't scan these cells unless they're special cells, which sometimes they are not. Well, alrighty then. Cool. Very cool. So next, we will combine the light fuel and the heavy fuel together to create diesel. If the diesel works as gasoline, quote unquote, then this will be good. If not, then I will figure it out next time because I will not be figuring it out today. But that's okay, usually. We're about halfway there. Uh, let me see what what do I need to make sulfuric naphtha again? I don't remember what circuit combination that was. Sulfuric naphtha is three, so I'm gonna need to reprogram circuit back to three again. That's how I'll do it. I'm very glad this is moving fast, though. I'm very happy about that. Maybe I can catch it. Maybe I can catch it better than I did the other one. That way we can just make things all work again. And then we can make more, t plenty more toluene, plenty more explosives. Actually, I have enough. Oh, yeah, look at that. I think I have enough toluene to create the remaining ITNT to be able to get those other plates. That's good. That's good. So that functioned while I was gone. That's good. That's very good. That's very good. Very, very good indeed. What is this? Kalk. Large magma beasts known for their incredible defense and deadly offense. On death, their bodies break down into lava. I don't think I've ever seen a caulk before. I don't think I want to see caulk like that. Caulk can be scary. All right, I am very close. I think one, two. Oh, how much? 
light fuel do I need to turn into regular light fuel? Oh, I need 12. I need 12, so 12,000 for light fuel. Oh, all right. Well, that needs to continue for a little bit then. That needs a bit more time. I didn't double check my ratios. The math sometimes doesn't work. It's crazy. Math is crazy, dude. Oh, well. But yeah, so I am looking forward to finishing up eventually Graveyard Keeper. Graveyard Keeper, I like. That's been dragging on for a while. I don't I don't not like it. I love the game so much, but I really want to get to a point where I finish with the storyline because I have been on it for a little while. And I've got this, I've got this inkling. I want to play other things. And so technically, going back to what I was talking about earlier, I don't necessarily need to wait to start another game. I don't need to. But I'm, I'm telling myself, like, I have imposed this schedule onto myself. And because I have imposed that schedule onto myself, I will take a little bit more longer to take a little bit longer to do that. I don't need to do that. Eventually, like, if it, if another two months goes by and I'm still playing Graveyard Keeper on Hollow Knight, I will probably change things up a bit because I'll be like, man, this has been going on. I think I've been playing Graveyard Keeper since September. It's, it's been so long. Which, again, not a problem. I love the game. It's just I have other things that I want to play. And I'm like, oh, I want to play it so badly. Like like the Nintendo games. Like, I really want to play some Nintendo games. And now that I have this dolphin thing up and running, I'm like this close. And to be honest, I really, I think what I really want to do is I want to do a playthrough of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. It would be like the third time that I've done so. And I like, I really want that to be so cool. Because that, that's another game that, like, I love that from my childhood. Those are those were the days. Okay. We've got light fuel. This is good. Time to go reprogram this thing. So we can start building Sulfuric Naphtha again and put everything back the way that it was. It's nice that I have all these machines set up. Because, because that I do, I can repurpose them for specialty recipes whenever I need them. Which is good. So this will go back to Sulfuric Naphtha again. This will start putting things in there like that. That'll start building up. The light fuel is coming out the other side. Almost, almost, almost. Cool. I can take all that up into cells. I'll have 12 of them. And now I can turn this back on again. Uh, push. Push back into there. And the toluene process continues. I still have oil on me. I can put the oil away. I don't need those in my inventory anymore. Um, what do you have? Are you constantly pulling from... Oh, that's not a... I will keep this these oil cells over here. That's what I'll do. And now I think if I combine light fuel and heavy fuel, I can create diesel, right? Is it just in my inventory or is it the other way around? No, how do? Heavy fuel cell... Oh, in a mixer. I need them in a mixer. So I need one heavy fuel, five light fuel. One, two, three, four, five. One. I'll put these over, these extras over here. And actually, I have some propene in my system. <laughs> propene. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I'll take that out. I'll put put that out and take that over here. Uh, I'd rather have all of the all of the oil-based things in one place. All right, and I'll take the toluene with me to create some more TNT, dynamite, I T N T. And then, hopefully, crossing my fingers, rocket time, if things work out. Otherwise, I think I have... Because if this doesn't work, then I need to spend an entire episode figure, uh, figuring out and setting up a pneumatic craft system to create actual gasoline, the way that the game wants me to. Which, what a bother. And the ITNT is rolling. I'll take my mixer. I'll Actually, I don't think I need... If I put the water in here, does it make a problem? No, it does not. Sweet. Now we have diesel. This is good. It does not scan. That's fine. That's okay. I have more TNT. I need more nitration mixture. So I need to put a little bit more in there. Perfect. I'll take the rest of that upstairs. That'll be for the remaining heavy-duty plate. Which is great. There's only one more I need for that one. And then the diesel. Now I need to see, can I fill up this lighter with this diesel? For that, I need a fluid canner. And I think I have one upstairs. I hope. If not, I'm going to have to make another one. I know I have a fluid canner somewhere. It'd be re it'd really suck if I don't. Oh, wait. This is a fluid canner. 
It's, no, it's a fluid solidifier. It's not a fluid canner. Canner. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe there's one in here. Fluid canner? Are you a canner? Unpackager. Fluid canner. Sweet. Okay. Lighter. Diesel. Diesel. Does it work? Yes! It worked! The lighter is full! That's perfect! Oh, nice! And it scans for something now. That's great. Alright, well, I've got some extra gasoline in there. So can confirm. If I want to make gasoline, this is the way to do it. Epic. That is so cool. Nice. So now... We're gonna make a rocket. We're making a rocket. Yes! Finally! I, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I was not expecting this to work out the way that it did, but it did. I'm happy. This is great. I'm excited. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. It's been it's been a rough time. It's been a it's been a long trek to get here. But we got it. I'll take I need you in my inventory. I need you. Uh you you. That's what I need for the final piece on the bottom. Granted, I shouldn't be super duper excited about this because ideally I will have to make more rockets. So I'll need to make a rocket again in the future. Because this is only tier one rocket. So there will be more rockets, but this is like the first rocket. And that's so exciting. Oh, nice. So now I have the engine. All that effort for an engine. Which actually makes a lot of sense. That feels like it's one of the more difficult parts of the journey. Got the plates. Got the fins. Got the cones. Got the chests. This is it. Making our first rocket. Cone up on top. Plates along the side. Don't forget the chests. I think I think the the trade-off for more chests is I think it takes more fuel for the rocket to go up to space if you have more chests in it. But like I can always make more fuel. Once I have the system down, it'd be great. Oh! That's lunch. Anna just made me lunch. That's so cute. She made me some peanut butter covered apple slices and some uh, some romaine lettuce. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much, dear. I wanted lunch. Anna wanted lunch, so she got me lunch, too. It's so nice. Now for the fins, and then the engine. The tier one rocket. Oh, you cheater. You didn't even use the last one. Oh. Nice. I have a rocket. Whoa, what the? Oh. <laughs> when I hold a rocket in my hand, it's ginormous. That makes a lot of sense. I guess this only fits one Minecraft player. That makes sense. I love it. And my hands are up too. I'm just like, this, this is, this is me and my rocket. This rocket is mine. Gaze upon me and my rockets. Oh my God. I can't, can't move around. That is so cool. This is my rocket. This rocket is mine. Thank you for joining me on this journey. We have created a rocket. Now, next I need a rocket launch pad. Uh, but I don't actually have enough plates. I don't have enough TNT to make enough plates for it. So I'm gonna have to wait on that. I can make a couple of them, but I need nine total. And for that, I need 18 industrial TNT. But we'll have that next time. I've got Tolu I've got Toluene working, working away. But what's important is we made a rocket. We accomplished our goal today. And it almost only took us many hours to do it, but three hours to finally actually put the pieces in the table to do so. And that is really, really cool. That's awesome. Can I use a rocket to craft for anything? No, but that's cool. And so apparently the other things that we need for our journey to be able to go to space is a parachute. We need oxygen tanks. We need things to create oxygen. There's still so much more left to do before we're able to go to the moon and beyond. But we will get there at some point. And we are making progress. And that progress is honestly the best thing I could possibly ask for. That was my goal for the day. That's what I accomplished. That's what we accomplished together. Thank you for providing moral support. I always appreciate it. It was fun. And that is where, that's where I'm gonna call it. Because there is a day ahead. And the day ahead involves many more things. And uh, that's good, that's good. This has been fun. I'm actually surprised that I was able to accomplish a goal that I was able to set for myself. I'm usually not very good at doing that. I'm usually not very good at setting goals, first off, and then in addition to that, actually accomplishing those goals that I am reaching towards. So the fact that we were able to do so is pretty freaking awesome. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. If you were drinking along, my, I had maple tea today. Maple tea and what else did I do? I had toast this morning. The toast was nice and it's a beautiful day. And honestly, if, it, if, if it's a beautiful day where you guys are, 
Go out and enjoy it. Get some fresh air. According to Anna, who I trust implicitly uh, and completely, is if you get at least 10 minutes of sun a day, you will be a happier person. So if you are not a happy person, get some sun. If you are a happy person, get more sun. I'm a happy person for the most part. So I'm gonna go get some sun, I think, because uh, I haven't gotten sun today yet. Haven't gotten some sun today, so that's what I'm gonna do. If it's also a nice afternoon where you guys are, have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you for coming along. If it's the morning where y'all are, perhaps on some other side of the United States, like where I am, have a good morning. If it's the evening where you are and you're going down to bed for the night, have a wonderful rest. Get the rest that you deserve. Keep yourself well and have a good night. No matter where we are, no matter what time zone you are in, may the party continue wherever you are. Thank you so much for coming along, guys. Can't wait to figure out what we do next time. Bye, all.